I'm on the wrong. There we go. Um, today we have the new DM. The new DM. Uh, today we have... I am. I am Joe. My brother. We have, we have Sir JT playing. Uh, so we have mostly the same cast today, but uh, some new characters are joining us, and we will get into that as the game kind of picks up. With that, we pick up where we left off last week with the party making their way back to the boat to get out of the island as they had completed all of the things they wanted to do there. Uh, made some dino friends, established possibly a base in an old Githyanki uh, con construct. Um, we know it's vacant. That's pretty much what we have. <laughs> you do realize they teleported out of there, so you have no idea if they can just come back. But regardless, uh, you find yourselves making your way back to the boat and as you do you see a group of individuals who are currently standing at the kind of the gangplank uh staring at Talon like and as you kind of come within hearing range you're like no no please please we need we need to get off this island we really like listen it's not my boat i i, I can't look, look at them they can help you they, they can help you <laughs> as i point to this, this group of like four or five individuals turn around they look at uh Sheila heavy neck um and the rest of the party making their way towards them and they kind of run over to you heavy neck um and Sheila and they're just like can can we can we get on can we get, can we get on your boat can can we Listen get they approached the boat when you guys were gone I will not let them on the boat we need to talk to you I'm not sure if I even trust them First off, are we on the island or are we on the boat? You're on the island. You're, on the, you're like on the beach of the island. Okay. And they're currently, there's like this group of individuals, uh, like a couple hanging in the back. The, there's currently one individual who's like <coughs> kind of talking up a storm to you. And as you kind of look them over, it, it is very interesting at first because you see a uh, they are a satyr. So, you know, the hooven legs and okay. um, like human body with the horns and everything and they're just like no 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 i promise we'll we'll make it worth your while it'll be great i i can sing i can dance i whatever you need us to do is like, just, 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 just mate mate first off where did you come from we couldn't find anybody on this island where the hell did you come from let alone a little half goat man uh, so you know, I mean, sense. some of us showed up on this island through weird means, and like some of us got shipwrecked here, and we've had this tiny little encampment uh, okay. kind of oh. over, and it because kind of, of points in a general direction that you guys realize you never really ventured that way. That's Wait a minute, I, I have a question here. Uh, who's the cap? Who's the captain of that ship there? Uh, that that would be the the short one over there. That would okay, be now now you okay, so y'all the captain of this. You and you and uh, a aquatic half elf is gonna point to uh, Talon and he's gonna be like, "Hey, what what do you do exactly?" Oh, I um I help run the ship. That that ship over there, the ship that I am standing on. I assume I was standing on it. Oh, you're just on the ship on the beach. I, I was you're on like the gangplank. Yeah, I was like shouting to you guys, like stopping you from coming on the ship. I assumed because I oh, never left okay. the ship. All right. So okay, I I was on. You guys are trying to get on the ship, I assume, and I was kind of holding them all at bay, and you were coming out, and I was like, "Talk to them." DM question: How far are we from the ship? I mean, we left the ship and we took a rowboat here. Okay. So I guess I'd say I'd be on the rowboat. That's then. Why I was confused when it was like, yeah, he's on the stern of the ship. And I was like, okay. the ship's over there. So I'm on the rowboat far enough out that you can't really get onto my rowboat. Okay. So how, the, the how far exactly are you? That's how far? Is like <laughs> Took our rowboat? Out, like out to sea? Like, I don't know. I don't know boat things. So no, whatever. no. Like how, how far is the rowboat? Uh, I w Joe, so anchored. I mean, a <laughs> rowboat could be beaches so i could be anywhere from 10 to 30 feet away i'll leave it to you where, where i'd say 30 feet away you're just kind of okay like, cool i misty step right behind Tallin and i go all right time to go uh i turn around and stab him <laughs> make an attack roll um that's gonna be uh oh man i mean come on you you scare me man <laughs> 16 to hit uh 16 does hit 
Lock, lock uh, is, that would be sneak attack this. and crit because he. I was the first one attacking around. So you get assassinate. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm scared, man. <laughs> okay, first I'm, roll. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look down to. I mean, I can be like, yeah, yeah heavy. Like, what? do you think he's gonna lose that knife this time? The one I gave him. Forty nine plus. Can I use a reaction to polymorph him? No, we're gonna see how this plays out first, and then we'll go. Oh God. <laughs> forty nine so, damage. Fifty one damage. Forty nine. How the fuck do you have, 49... you you have fifty one damage? I because I'm an <laughs> assassin rogue man. I got the first hit off, which means it automatically crits, which means I automatically do double sneak attack damage. Congratulations! I thought that was for anybody who hasn't got hasn't had a turn yet. Anybody who hasn't, if I'm the first one to attack and around, it says I have advantage on attack rolls against creatures who have not taken a turn in combat. Yeah, I hit any score, any hit I score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit. And I assume you were surprised. Misty step is not a turn in combat. I was gonna say so. Technically, he went first. If you think about it, is fair enough. So that? so have that. So twenty five damage. <laughs> 25 damage. All right, I'll take that. But if I... Yeah, fair enough. I mean, he wasn't surprised. Well, I mean, he surprised you, theoretically, because he popped Understood. up behind Understood. You, Understood. So Respect. Hey, like, respect. Yep. I understand. Well, and Perfect. And just got shanked. Perfect. <laughs> Back Still. alley shanked. And I'm going to be like, whoa, what are you doing? Jesus Christ, don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, All right, well, that fucking sucked. Don't ever do that again. So, um, Time to go. Doland... What? What do you want me to do? Is the knife still in you? I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, at this point, he's going to pull He's gonna pull the dagger out of himself, and uh, he's going to cast Cure Wounds at fourth level. I'll be like, I'm going to put my hands up and be like, look, man, you can't scare me like that. This this little little red goblin just hobbles over. Children, children, calm down. Ooh, babe. You're getting too excited. Put the put the put the knife away. I I I, I just kind of let the knife just kind of drop to the boat, and I'm just gonna be like, look at heavy neck, and be like, heavy neck. Solid. What's the what's the plan here, buddy? First off, let me talk. All right. Second, bring the boat onto the fucking beach. Well, will you help me row this boat in? I'm gonna look at whomever that person is. Okay. Here's here's something you may not understand. Is uh you just stabbed me and I had to use magic to heal myself so now I have less magic to heal you later if need be I'm going to hand you the so orb be like you. are you going to help me so, or are you not going to so help if me we're, so if if you if your ass is on the line later and you need a heal you're not fucking getting it so fuck you are you going to take the or no I'm swimming to the boat bye you're swimming to the big boat I'm gonna look at heavy neck and be like, "Do I let him go?" Just let just just do nothing but bring the boat to the beach. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start rowing the boat into shore. Just step one. <laughs> uh, I'm, so I'm gonna start rowing the boat into shore. Heavy neck's gonna look at the rest of the people. Um, like everyone there goes, uh, "I am." Just weird to say this. I'm sorry. He's not trained to do that to every person he meets. <laughs> I'm Heavy Neck. I'm the captain of the ship. And we have enough room for you. And as long as you are seaworthy and you don't mind tying a few, tying some ropes uh, to cleaning, then we're happy to have you. Oh, I can clean whatever you'd like. What does he look like? Yeah, so at uh, this point, you, the new characters can describe themselves. So we'll start with you, uh, Josh. Uh, so Max is a goblin. Uh, he stands about three, three and a half feet tall. Uh, he is covered in scars and has a long beard. Uh, a gigantic hoop gold earring hangs off of his ear. Fuck yeah, beard crew. Uh, he walks around with a staff that's probably... I don't know, maybe half a foot taller than him. And there's a uh, purple orb that's at the top of his staff. Uh, oh, and uh, goblin years, he's about, ooh, if you converted it to human years, I'd say he's about 60. 
<laughs> he seemed old. So he's, yeah. he's in his older. Uh, yeah, older he's years. in his older years, but he is still <laughs> quite spryer for his age. Uh, he has a few tricks up his sleeve. Um, Max studied uh, magic, but never got very good at it. So every now and then, uh, it can go very badly for him. Right. <laughs> yep, right in. Uh, well, Max, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too, Captain. And then gives a little salute. As a like as I row into shore, I just want to look at the rest of them and be kind of say, "I'm sorry for the confusion, but you gotta understand, I can't just let anybody on a boat when I'm watching it." Oh, you're just doing your jobs. Well, hop on in, guys. So as we uh, see the boat start rowing towards the big boat, uh, Finn, I'd assume at this point you've probably hopped up onto the side of it. So what do you what what is the what does this crew see standing on the like edge of the boat? So um, he is a blue aquatic half well, kind of like an aqua blue aquatic half elf. Um, he's got like bushy blue hair and like a big bushy blue beard and um, mustache, and uh, he's wearing basically like. It's like, it's like rags. It's like leathers, but not like leather armor. It's just like, you know, leather belts and rags and like, you know, really old, you know, chaps and like shitty shoes. Okay. Um, he's got a couple daggers on his side and he's got a, uh, a boomerang on his back. Nice. I like it. So <clears throat> as, we're, and as, as, we're... as you guys, as you guys get close, he's going to just walk up to the gangplank and be like, so who's the captain now, eh? <clears throat> uh, as we get below, I'd like to take my hook off and throw it onto the ledge and wrap it around it and then pull myself up as quickly as I can. Okay. So, you, uh, Heavy Neck, you're the first to kind of get up there and you and Finn are currently standing on the deck. Uh, as I get up, I just go, that will be me. Uh, Finn's just going to shake your hand and be like, hey, what's up, mate? Heavy Neck. And you? Uh, Frostian. You can call me Finn, though, if you like. That's easier. Finn, nice to meet you. And then I'll hop off the railing onto the deck and head towards the steering wheel. Okay. As I hop up to the deck, I'm going to kind of come over there, go up to Finn and put my hand out and be like, listen, the name's Tallinn. I'm sorry. Oh, good. You should be. And I'm going to miss you step away again. <laughs> Rose. Yells actually, actually, no. I'm not even gonna miss this step. I'm just gonna go invisible. <clears throat> I'm gonna look up a heavy neck. I'm just gonna be like shrug at him and be like, "I'm gonna take my rest now, man. I'll see yeah. you soon." Cool. You should probably take five. I'm gonna head down. I know the captain's course could take some sleep because I've been up all night. All right. So the cr- the group of you are now uh, successfully on the ship, and you kind of as you're getting yourselves together, pulling up anchor and kind of like taking a last glance at the uh, island, you see a uh, large pterodactyl. Uh, a pterodon. Pterodon, okay. But ter- or yeah, pterodon. pterodon. I assume you don't pronounce the P word. So you see a large pterodon kind of like swoop around the boat once and just kind of land up on the crow's nest Uh and just kind of like hunker down and like give a nod. It's gone. And he just he squawks and is like, "Food, food." Yeah, you'll get it later. Uh, and he just kind of like settles in. Um, and yeah, you just hear quite. You just hear quietly like, so, you know, several feet away from you. You just kind of hear, "Yeah, you will be food later." To me? No, like. As as Gar's like food. <laughs> no, you can't kill him. He's a friend. What the? F- okay. We, no, we, this is you're one of. Okay. Are you a vegetarian? No, we just befriended a dinosaur, and you're not gonna not bring it along on a ship. You don't. Why not just eat it? It's perfectly good meat. Look, mate. I'm not trying to say this loud, but if it comes to it, yeah, but. For the most part, he's a friend. All right. Okay. We're on the same page then. That's Gar. Um, quite, if, I suppose an important question I probably should have asked on the beach. Uh, y'all aren't friends with the Gith, are you? 
No, we kill them. Right, yeah. Sam? Thank goodness. Okay, good. Yeah, Mac, Max and I here, uh, we're not friends of the gift. Yeah, they're pretty nasty. You did, I just spit on the ground. Hey, Maxi, how you doing? That was a that was a long row. That was a you long need, trip, my you friend. Need a, you need a nap. Oh, I'm always up for a good nap. <laughs> Anybody got any cookies around here? What? No. Wait, Sheila, do we? I just looked down in the galley, and they got some food down there. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> I mean, we definitely don't have cookies. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that many supplies, but that's okay. I'm Actually, go take a nap while you're down there. I'm going to disappear for about 15 minutes. <laughs> I can't wait to find him somewhere. <laughs> what did we bring on to this house? What do you mean? It's just... We're... More like, hands make work easier. Like, heavy neck, this, this half-elf thing is wet-footing everywhere. Guys, where's but... the cookies? Sheila, could you go maybe tend to... Oh, oh my God. I mean, we barely have a spatula. How am I going to figure out cookies? <laughs> maybe just, like, look around and, like, fake that we have some. And be like, oh, someone must have ate them. And then, like, I don't know, play it off. Did you check in the lower cupboard? <laughs> but to be honest, the what? The lower cupboard. So Finn on Invisibles himself right behind Heavy Neck. Not right behind, but like, you know. <laughs> you want to get stabbed again? <laughs> no. <laughs> so like kind of off to the side behind Heavy Neck. And is like, mate, you're going to be so glad you picked us up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You just like scaring people? No. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm a little, uh, I'm slippery. Announce yourself. Call it that. Before you do the appearing bit. Okay, next time I do that, I'll just be like whistling the whole time when I'm invisible because that would just completely defeat the fucking purpose. If you're trying to talk to someone, it might. Well, help. yeah, that's why I uninvisible myself so that you can see me while I'm having a conversation with you. All right. <laughs> you know, you remind me of my first mate. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a lot, actually. Um, no. Uh, yeah, you seem very capable um, with the whole magic bit. Um, have you been studying long? S studying what? Magic. Uh, you can study magic? At least that's what I thought. I mean, I've seen people use spell books. Oh, and whatnot. oh yeah, yeah, sure. Definitely studied lots of magic. Um I don't even think I need to roll an insight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at studying. Well, that's good. Glad to have you aboard. Uh, um, been been on the been on the seas all my life. Yeah, you seem like in, in the sea, on the sea. What's what's the right way to? Anyway, you sound convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Where exactly are you from? Mate, that's a good question for much later. <laughs> All right. So good to know. Uh, what time is it? Uh, it DM. is currently like, I'd say it's getting to like early afternoon and you guys are starting to kind of make your way. Yeah. All right. Uh, I assumed you were given the lack of supplies and kind of your current predicament. You're making your way to one of the ports, you know, at the. Yeah, I was about to pull the map out and figure out where we need to head. You see that probably from where you are, assuming your location and kind of coordinating your coordinates, uh, you figure out that probably the bottom end of, let me get the continent right, uh, the bottom end of Erium, there she should be able to find a port there. Okay. So All right. Begin making so, your way that direction. Cool. So it's directly east. Yes. Cool. All right. Um, well. We have a good heading. I'd like to... I assume at some point I wake up, you know, and take over the shift for the night shift and get to talk to Heavy Neck for a second. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of come up to the deck. And, that's right. and uh, you know, I assume it's dusk-ish. So, be like, hey, uh, I don't know, man. I just didn't want to let people on the fucking ship. Hey, hey. Tolland. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. I like where your head's at. The stab first approach, that's usually what I do. But, okay. but here's the thing. 
and this is zilch coming and spewing out of my mouth. Um, maybe wait and draw. He scared the shit out of me, man. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just draw your dagger first and then threaten. All right. All right. Okay. Because then you know, I'm not sure where I got this other dagger from. We know magic folk. You yeah, know, we, fair enough. But I, like right. I said, draw your weapon first. I do Listen, like that. I'll, I'll be good. Like, uh, put both hands on Talon's shoulder and then like kind of like bring him in for a hug and then like kind of like tap their forehead together and go, you good mate. All right. Trust all right. Him. Listen, we got some shit coming ahead. I think we'll be all right. Where are we headed anyway? We're headed east. East? Like, What's east? East is this little bit looks like a port here. It oh. should be, can I tell how many days travel this is going to be? You, you estimate it's probably going to be about six days. So you can go better good or better or worse a week better yeah. part of a week is what we're looking at so. all right i mean easy enough head east i can do east that's fine i've never been east man I'm just glad to get the fuck off that continent man yeah that place sucked <sighs> feels um, good to be out here again well easy. anyway i'll take it see you in the morning good get some sleep right. oh hey um i'm sorry about the daggers i'm just gonna stop turn around and go I appreciate that. Uh, you know what's even fucked is I even have, I'm gonna pull a short bow off my back. And be like I don't even I don't know why. I... <laughs> that doesn't make it better. Oh, I know. I'm Luke sorry. Sleeping in the captain quarters privilege for that. All right. I'll see. I'll see you in the morning. I'm just gonna like put my head down and walk downstairs. All right. Eric's gonna like. Whistle. Oh wait, no. I'm, I'm going up to the. I'm. I'm. Man, I go up to the, yeah. the steer. I turn. I go fuck. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I go up and take over the shift. All right. So. Uh, you guys, you guys travel, uh, a few days pass, so you guys can get your long rest, you're back to square one, if that matters. Um, and so eventually you kind of, you rotate through shifts, and you find the five of you currently take, six of you, no, five of you, five of you, um, currently, I know, I don't count myself, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you find the five of you currently taking a, uh, evening, like the, the night crew shift and as you're making it's a it's a clear like bright clear moon night like you can see almost like all the stars there's not a and it's just like the sea is calm it's been good sailing most of these days and you're like man this is great we're making good time um and as you're kind of traveling you notice you see kind of this light uh approaching the ship and um, those of you who have sailed, you, you're like, based on the movement and whatnot, you assume it's another ship. So, right. Yeah. I'll let you guys take it from there. It, it is heading towards you. Is it night? Am I up by myself right now? It's the five of you currently. Uh, yes, oh, we're so, all up. Yeah. You're all up doing ship things or, oh, if, or if, whatever. If day or night. to pee, guys. <laughs> it is night. <laughs> yes. I assume I'm manning the helm at this point. Cause I would normally be, and you guys would be up maybe transitioning. Yeah, either way, it's like it's like midnight. So you guys really? have kind of taken your like shifts, and it's currently it. However, you guys have worked it out. Uh, yeah, no yeah. problem. I'm gonna I'm putting out. Be like, uh, ship ahead. All right, good. Happy next sober. <laughs> <laughs> what? We haven't seen a ship forever. What do you mean? I don't know, man. We've only been traveling a couple of days. We're not near nothing. I don't know what the fuck should be. What should we do? Uh, it's not normal. Uh. I don't know where we are, so no. Play it safe. Uh, just uh, drop sail. Should we alert them that we're here? They Ooh. know we're here. It looks like they're coming right at us. Yeah, it is heading directly for you. I don't like this, buddy. <laughs> Talon, you might want to grab that short bow. Uh, so... Sorry, man, the rudder to like a, a stationary position almost oh, to circle. I'm going to take the helm. We need All to right. drop sail. I don't want to have All right, to... I'm going to start dropping the sail in. Yeah. Hey, uh, Finn, come help me drop this fucking mainsail. No. All right, uh, how, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to start like talking. Yeah, like, well, why don't right. you just show me? Start unwrapping <laughs> the fucking things. You said you were useful. I am very useful. You'll you'll find out. Um, As you, uh, who is probably keeping the, who or which two of you are currently keeping the closest eye on the ship as it's kind of doing its thing. I'm taking <clears throat> the sails down, so... Heavy neck. Next right. right at it. 
Uh, make a perception check. Twenty-two. All right. So you see it. I mean, crystal clear night. You can tell, like, yep, definitely a ship. It probably looks about the size of your ship. It doesn't look doesn't look like a pirate ship necessarily. It doesn't seem to have cannons drawn and. It, Probably the biggest thing that throws you off is it's moving at a pretty good clip, but there's no sails up. But there is, like, a mast. It's mm. just, like, just a mast and, like, the thing. You don't see any sail. It's just, like, the mast and thing. But it's moving as if there was, like, a full wind behind it. Um, cool. You also notice that kind of a roll that it, it seems, like, in really rough shape. Like, as you get, you kind of notice, like, pieces of wood splintered off of it and um, it kind of almost looks like there is a chunk taken out of one side of it and it's you're almost with your sailing experience you're like there's no way that's floating yeah uh so yo heavy i gotta like this oi i'm just gonna shout right in the direction of the boat uh you don't it doesn't respond um but it does pull up right next to you guys like just dude and starts like since you guys aren't moving it just kind of like Track. I see anybody on the deck of the boat. Uh, make a perception check. Oh god, this is. I have a bad feeling. perception. This is my first roll, guys, as an actual player in <laughs> fucking forever. Well, that's not true. I attacked you, so that's good. <laughs> so uh, natural one. one. Nice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you are just freaked out and maybe ah! too absorbed into the <laughs> sails that you maybe you don't even realize until you like the last one uh, look over and it's next to you i love it oh shit i can just back up hold, <laughs> hold the fuck down all right all right all right sorry is there any so are you okay son me talking to me yeah i don't know there's a fucking ship look at it <laughs> oh that's a beautiful boat Back in my day, we used to sail around in those things all the okay. time. Okay, I'm going to grab your hand and just start walking you to the stairs. <laughs> um, this, looks, looks, this looks alarming. Yeah, um, <laughs> draw your sword and poke it. There's no, is there like no buddy on? As you guys kind of like get a better kind of, it, you see, it almost seems like there's, it, it at first glance, it looks like there's no one on deck. And then as you kind of try and peer closer, it's like for half a second, you see like blurs and you assume like, was that someone moving? Or was that just like the, the light of the ocean? Maybe kind of like the moonlight catching something weird. But as you're, as you're all kind of like staring at this boat, like what the fuck you watch is like the gangplank from it just kind of like creaks over and like lands on your ship, but nothing crosses it. And Can I hide. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sorry. Just before anything happens. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Um, and you hear like this, almost like this beckoning <clears throat> call of like. Oh no 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 no! no. This is a fucking ghost ship. What the fuck is this? Hold up, I got this. Take off. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna pull my boomerang out. I'm going to cast light on my boomerang and I'm just going to shoot my boomerang. So it like flies around above that ship and then comes back to me as it does. And you get like this kind of like spotlight kind of like moving around it. You, you, you kind of get a better picture of what these like things moving were. And they look like it almost looks like a, like you get a good glimpse of like what seems like a uh, sailor, like moving a barrel. On the, on the ship deck. Like a corporeal sailor? Yeah. Uh, like, okay. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Every neck. <laughs> Fucking haunted. Get, we need to... Raise this. I'm going to start raising the sail. Sail raises. <laughs> dude, uh, can, Sheila, attack this thing. Why is it not moving? I catch my boomerang. On light. On light. Heaven is going to try and push the fucking board off of the fucking railing. The gangplank. I'm just trying to push it off. You go to push it, and your hands just like go through it. <laughs> oh no! 
Uh, Heavy Neck is going to try and assist Talon to get the sails up faster. You guys, <laughs> you, you guys like raise the sails as fast as possible, and you get everything, and you watch this like big gust of wind kind of take them, and you don't move. You're just kind of stuck in this like temporal state, and you hear another I'm like. Gonna... Oh man! And the fucking ship. Just burn it. Huh. Well, that's something I ain't seen before. Can I walk over the gateplank? Mm-hmm. Kind of like put my oh, foot no. on it. Oddly oh. enough, when you go to put your foot on top of it, you feel solid wood underneath you. I'm going to look back at Heavy Neck. Tall him this is a bad idea. Yo, buddy, there's got to be something on there. Why would it pull up? It's got to pull something. It's not leave. It's we gonna can't even kill go. us. I'm going to point to the sails and be like, what do you What do you want me to do? <laughs> All right, so you're saying that we could possibly <laughs> capture this ship. If I'm going to look at Sheila and be like, Sheila, how's those rations, buddy? Guys, there's a boat here. <laughs> I thought I put you. God damn it. Uh, like, it's Holland, if you haven't noticed, we're out of cookies. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Does the ship look wow. real enough? <laughs> it looks it, it looks like, a, like you kind of like, maybe you do like the one foot and then you kind of like back off and you like smack it and you're like, you hear like the wood echo and it's odd. Stand up you on it. You know, feels solid. A little creaky, but like solid. Do I see? It's all, it's all go if you go first. <laughs> Somebody put an Max. <laughs> Maybe Max will go first. Max, Max, there's cookies on this ship, buddy. No, no. Max, I swear, there's. I smelt them. There's cookies over there, buddy. He starts hobbling towards it. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> I, I just I follow Max. I'm like Cookies I'm like pointing. Up. <laughs> I'm like pointing over his shoulder. Like yep. Yeah. Like looking back at Heavy Neck and Sheila and Finn. Be like, holy shit. <laughs> Zilch would not approve. But yeah, let's Zilch is fucking asleep. I was gonna say the rest of the crew is he like sound asleep. Max kind of hobbles up onto the ramp, like grabs the rope and starts to walk across. Yeah, it's I'm right like, behind you, buddy. I'm like, ah, yeah, man, I'm, I, I don't know. Let's see if we can find something to make cookies. I'm with you. I mean, you stop me if he has to stop on his way across, but he's walking all the way over. Onto the I'm, ship. I'm, I'm all the way over. Okay, so Heavy Neck's gonna follow. Can I uh, make a perception check uh, and see if I can smell anything? Yeah, like anything <laughs> sweet. <laughs> do that and then uh finn and sheila are you guys what are you doing uh, i think i'll stay over on this side finn stay there i'll give you a holler if i need help okay bud yeah that sounds good i'm uh sheila you coming oh uh, yeah i'm coming never never dealt with ghosts before we don't have those back home where we... is home actually we do we have a lot of ghosts back home but i try to avoid them Max, you get a very strong smell of cookies coming from down below deck. I'm going to start headed that way. <laughs> um, I smell it too. Do, do I say, yeah? I, do you? What do you? What, where are you headed, Max? What are you? What are you doing? There's cookies on this boat, and I'm no, going to find them. How do you know? You you can't smell them. <laughs> Maybe it's as, like, I get, as he says that you all get this like very intoxicating aroma even you Finn of like cookies coming from down below deck okay that's fucked up there's actually cookies on this boat oh that smells delicious <clears throat> bring me back some cookies guys we're not uh, bringing back some for the person who doesn't come help is I'm it, gonna help so from is it, here is it dark out uh, it is night, but it is currently a bright moon, so you can see clearly. Okay, um, so I'm going to start to look around the boat and see if I can find where it's coming from, find a door or something like that. So the top of this boat is pretty pretty plain. Like, you have the two masts. There's no openings otherwise, except for, like, in the backside, there's the, like, the area <coughs> where the ship wheel would be, and then, like, a set of stairs that goes down below deck. And that's okay. you can. It smells like it's coming from below. You'd assume maybe the galley of this deck, or yeah. Um, providing there's no like obstructions, I'm going to start making my way over to the stairs. Bring my way. So yeah, as the as the four as the four of you make it to like the stairs, and you go to like 
walk down you feel like this this barrier um and it's not like it doesn't like you don't like walk into a wall you just kind of feel stopped and you hear like a you need five <laughs> hey finn yeah looks like you're coming get over here it's not gonna work why ain't it gonna work because we need hey. five it you needs on numbers. Do that weird smisty thingy where you just uh, show you, up you, somewhere. You want me to wake up the? Uh, you want me to wake up the demon or the dragon? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? You need how many? Five. <laughs> it <laughs> repeats itself like <laughs> five. <laughs> As I hit the barrier, sorry guys, my hips acting up today. <laughs> All right, so Finn pulls I mean, out his. What did uh, we get into? He pulls out two daggers. And he just kind of uh, very sheepishly crosses the the plank to the other ship. Come on, just stand behind the big one, and you're gonna be fine. I just say, as you get across the ship, and you start, if you start to join the group, you guys feel that like thing stopping you release itself, and like it opens itself. We dropped anchor, right? It, I mean, no, we, it, no the sails are up. It wouldn't really have mattered because the ship was not moving. But if you wanted to make like. I will assume that if you were like, no, all right, if we're going to do this, we drop the sails and drop anchor so you don't come back. Into well, you can't place. really like drop anchor in the middle of the ocean. That's fair. So you just drop. So the sails. you just drop the sails and turn the rudder and spin in a circle, basically. Okay. As, as Finn gets on board and we all feel that like <clears throat> that thing go, I go, do any of you guys feel that? Oh, it might have just been me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I think the it's smell. <laughs> Maxi. No, no, no. It wasn't me. Oh. Wait, did you fart? No. It's uh, totally normal bodily function. Maxie's old. Give him a break. So we start I start walking down the stairs though. So as you guys get down, you get down to the set you get you go down a set of stairs and it kinda like loops back and he goes down and you find yourselves in a long like a long hallway with six doors on either side and then one on the far, like the very end. Um, and as the kind of like the aroma of the cookies seems to be coming from that, like the door at the very end and all of the doors look the same, except for on the outsides of them, there's just numbers. So you have one, two, three on the left, and then you have 11 at the very end. And then you have four, five, six, um, as you kind of like make your way down the stairs and you're like, all right, cool. You look back, the stairs are gone. Oh no. Uh, yeah, and you hear Finn, a Finn puts his daggers away and he goes, "Oh, they're not symmetrical. We're good." <laughs> um, and you hear the same voice, but a little bit less wispy and a little bit more. It almost sounds young, um, and it's like a uh, thank you. You must prove yourself, and I will grant you assistance, but. I need to show I need you to show me that you are strong and wise. Good luck. And it's Who's just kind of like, it just fades away. Bitch. Strong and what? Wise. Get your fucking weapons out. We're about to fucking fight something. I'm gonna pull my one dagger that I have left. <laughs> and I'm gonna just back up into a corner. Can I give Talon my other dagger? My last dagger. I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna. I promise, I won't. Anyway, I'm gonna take like, it. <laughs> yeah, if you lose it, I'm gonna shove this hook up your ass sideways. Boys, boys, easy, easy. <laughs> so what do you, what what do we think? Uh, if you guys like wait a minute or like you're like prepping for battle in this hallway, like that time passes and nothing. It's just silence. All right, so the. Heavy Neck's gonna slowly saunter up to like that door on the far wall, far wall, like the farthest door on the hallway. Is it eleven? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, Finn's gonna clap his hands real quick and cast light on his gloves, and then he's just gonna be like walking around like this with like a faint blue light happening. Okay. <laughs> uh, MJ. I uh. I will, I will note this hallway is lit by like torches. So it is like, 
it is it's not pitch black you guys can see in this area okay. i'm gonna like start feeling the wall and see if there's like a door or any passage away ahead of us so you, you as you're feeling along you feel the the six doors if uh, yep. like three on either side heavy neck as you make your way to the final door you like grab the handle and it doesn't move you like push on the door and it feels like it feels like you're pushing on a wall okay so it's pretty much it's it like locked would be an understatement <laughs> so the doors there is no door there's no spoon yeah <laughs> um oh, i don't like that there's not there's nothing there nothing's as you, fun. There. Um, as you feel along you just notice the six doors nothing else besides them are they locked nope I as you kind of you turn the handles there. and they seem to they seem to turn and the door would open i check the front left the closest one to where we came up on the left one for traps so one uh yeah make a the one Make a thieves tools check. Uh, check with traps. Investigation, probably. Oh yeah, investigation. Sorry. No, it's okay because my investigation is way shittier. So I really fucked myself. Maxie, maybe we should have just stayed on that island. You gotta see the world. There's no learning Ten. unless you see the world. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem trapped. It's a sense of adventure, Finn. You, you gotta right, go guys want me Maxie. to open it? Max is so full of wisdom. Want me to open it? Uh, yeah, I don't like being in a cage, so yeah, let's get. Yeah. Uh, um, go. how about one of you come behind me and ready a shot, and I'm gonna kick this fucking door down. All right, Heavy Neck is going to walk up behind him and then have his hook and rapier out, and he's ready to like throw the hook right Anybody over. Else? Yeah, Sheila's gonna join up and draw her sword. All right, y'all wait back here. Three, two, one. You guys bust in like full force into this room. Uh, hold on, I will reach it. Uh, let me flip this, and I'll reveal first. <coughs> uh, if you guys want to drop your characters into it. Ooh, I don't have a character yet. Oh, I don't have a character I either. Sketched you. Uh, I will. I will give you guys some. No, I, I'll use one. I got. I got stuff kicking around in my D and D. Hold on one second. I say, I got if you just want to use your other characters, guys, uh, for now. Yeah. Uh, we'll 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 update them characters as soon as we. Uh... Could you put one on for me? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yes. I got Katya. If you need him, Joe. Uh, let's see. I can. Uh, no, um. I I cannot wait to sketch me. Aaron, can I use Barnaby just for a token, just because I have it in here? Yeah, that's fine. Are we on the ship? Yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, look, a ship. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the timing was so perfect. <laughs> oh, I, thank you so much for creating this beautiful <laughs> Why? What were you laughing at? The boat? No, Max. <laughs> obviously, our residential <laughs> senile goblin. Oh, dude. So funny, man. So good. Oh my God. He's gorgeous. So good. I'm ready. <laughs> I can't wait to be best friends with Max. <laughs> I feel like has um, Max has forgotten more friends than most people have in a lifetime. He's a pretty friendly dude. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah as you guys kick this door down you see one creature standing on the opposite sen- side of the room um it, oh fuck that noise it looks uh very ghoulish one might say um, it has like razor sharp che- teeth jagged claws it uh and it kind of like roars this like insatiable hunger and kind of like looks at the group of you like um, and actually, he said ghoulish, not goulash. I need everyone to roll initiative. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> I love fucking initiative. Oh, I got a sick initiative on this guy. 25. <laughs> Hold on, let me do, 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 do. clear. I'll add you guys back in. Oh, am I still called DM? No, not good. Gotta change that. Okay. Max. 
Ah, uh, whatever. I'll do this. Thirteen. Wait a minute. I get unlimited uses of this. What? No. <laughs> God. Okay. Oh, Sheila, look at you, bad girl. I go high. Yo, that's what I love to see. I love when the barber gets a high AC. Fuck this thing up, Sheila. Fuck this thing up. Oh, we going deep. <laughs> so I assume we let the uh, we let the Goliath with the big sword go first, yeah? Yeah, I usually just stand behind her. All right, uh, you said it wrong. You let the babe <clears throat> with the big sword go through. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's why I said it, ain't it? No, Yo, his pecs are bigger than your head. That's what he said. Her uh, pecs are bigger than your head. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Funny enough, though, uh, Heavy Knight can go first. All right, all right, all right. So I would like to... Is this creature hostile to us? Yes. To oh, absolutely. This thing looks like... If you guys didn't get the jump on it, kicking the door down, this thing was going to eat you. Okay, so... I would like to run up... One, two, three... Wait, hold on. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um, I'd like to use my bonus haunt because I I I'd like to use my bonus action to attack with my offhand with my hook. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I won't get him with range. I'll stand because I have ten foot reach on that. So I'll swing it around and I'll try to hit him. Okay. I get my sneak attack if I hit him. Twenty one. Oh yeah. That's... All right. So he takes one, two, four plus four. So he takes seven plus. Not bad. My sneak attack did it go up? I don't think it went up. Twelve. So nineteen points of uh, slashing and sneak attack damage. Woo! You take a good old chunk out of this thing, and it just like roars at you wildly. Cool. So then I'd like to use my action to use my new feature, Panache, and I'd like to... Uh, the creature has to make a persuasion check. Can, uh, and in, so it's my persuasion versus your insight. Okay. Um, There's that. Oh, I mean, wow. that's a good roll. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> okay. So it's still new. Uh, as I <laughs> as I slash open it, like on his like belly, I'm gonna look at him and go, "Let's go, mate. Time for me and you to dance." And it just like roars at you and doesn't seem to care at all. Oh, God damn it! That was supposed to be fucking cool. All right, and then I'm gonna take two. I'm gonna take two more hops and go. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and try to like duck behind. Are these? little beds yeah they look like kind of decrepit beds and then they each have like a little side table next to them okay that's all i'm gonna do perfect i can use that all the time though <laughs> all right sheila okay thunder gauntlets <laughs> i'm gonna go into a rage rage <laughs> And then I'm going to look at Misty Foot and say, move out of the way, little man. Foot. <laughs> I'm not near you. I'm not in your way. Well, move out anyways. <laughs> as I do, All right. As I do that, I'm going to go. I'll just into, uh, stay over here. I'm going to go into reckless attack. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to make my attacks. <laughs> She's so reckless. Just, you watch as uh, Sheila just goes wild on this thing 19 for the first one. Oh yeah that hits 21 for the yep. other that also hits 13 for the first nice 12 for the next hey dude it you eviscerate this thing there it, i mean to to say there's like body parts left almost would be an overstatement there's just like 
it just pieces go flying. This thing just dis- like almost disintegrates in front of you as you slice through it. And as it as that happens, can like all this wind be blowing through like Sheila's mane really majestically, and like her like muscles are glistening <laughs> as she's like raging, but none of the gore gets on her. It Absolutely. just blows all around her. I'm imagining like the Deadpool slow motion fight. Yeah, like a... <laughs> yeah, it's whoa, whoa! <laughs> then, yeah, like I... what the fuck was that thing? That was quite graphic. While, while Cherry Pie is playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you stand behind her. <clears throat> I don't know what you guys are talking about. I've been over here the whole time. <laughs> um. Why do people keep telling me to get out of the way? I'm just going to look over my shoulder and say, big girl, big radius. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> Max finally comes into the room. <laughs> hey, Max. Hey, Maxie. Hey, guys. How- you guys all right? <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the little guy did a panache. It was cute. A Any panache? fucking cookies in this room? I've had a panache before. They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what did it look like? Uh, it's a little cake thing, I think. Now that that was a nutmeg ganache he had. Oh, ganache! Still not uh, sure where you found that. It's chocolatey. Why was that good. on a dinosaur island in the first place? But I don't know. Somebody <laughs> made it for me. Hey Max, do you smell those cookies in here? <clears throat> uh, can I make a perception check to see? Uh, I will just let you know that no, you do not pick up any scent of cookies in here. Not what in here, fuck? friends. Um, well, where are they? Interestingly enough, as you guys walk in, like as Max, as you f- like get in there, you get in there right as like the end, like the end of this battle. And as you got in, the door shut, and then like as the as you watch the creature kind of go f- like flailing down, it pops back open. Okay. Uh, when it shut, did it lock? Uh, like, temporarily. You probably would assume that, but it seemed to be shut for so short of a time; it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, guys. I, I didn't mean to shut us in here like that. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. We got it. Is it locked? We have to clear all of these rooms. What are we? Okay, fair enough. It's not let's still locked, it. right? We can get out still. It's open. The door's open. Okay. All right. Good. Just make sure you stand behind us, like you're the last one to get, like, leave the room. And then Heavy Next just gonna like dart out the door. Nope. And I, I jump out second. So you all leave, and you hear like a. That's a great start. Um, Who anyway. are you? Do not like ghosts or cages. And not I, not a fan of either of those things. Well, welcome to fucking Terra Town. Uh, as you guys are all exit the door, uh, exit the room. Like if you go to shut the door, it doesn't shut. It just stays open. What are you live in a barn? Close that door. <laughs> <laughs> what what are we finishing the whole the neighborhood? <laughs> Next thing you know, every room in the ship's going to have a door open. <laughs> Are we back in the hallway? Yes. Yes. So you, still, we... you see uh, the the other rooms, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and then the 11 at the end um, are still shut. Can we go, can Heavy Knight go to the next door, door number two? Yep. And where's door seven through 10? Who knows? You open it and uh, look inside, and it looks identical. Then another ghoul. You don't see if you just look inside it. You don't see anything. I look up. <clears throat> you look up. You don't see any. Like okay, you kind good. of like you do that. Like mm, mm, looks identical. You don't see anything in it. It looks pretty normal. Nothing in here. Um, strange. Yeah. I mean, he's going to take his hook and, like, slide it out into the room a little bit and then be ready to, like, pull it back to see if, like, anything happens. As you kind of, like, slide the hook into the room, it doesn't seem like anything happens. All right, so I'll, like, snap it back uh, and... I don't know, man, what do you think? Just, I'll take a few steps in. Uh, Watch the back, boys. As you do, gonna, what is the rest I, of the group doing? I'm going to cast message to Tolland and be like, Give the sea elf all of your money. What say what? <laughs> Give the sea elf all of your money. I'm like turn around and be like, I know it's you that's saying that. 
<laughs> oh, you can do that too? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really fun. <laughs> just, just a joke, you know. Yeah. You know. Uh, <laughs> Good times. Max is following Heavy <laughs> Neck into the room. Okay. So Max, Heavy Neck walk in. Uh, anybody else? Who are you guys at? Are you guys all yeah, following? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow in. Okay. I'm going to take up the rear. <clears throat> As I get in. It seems like, like that's the pattern. I, I want to put my, my rapier hilt onto, like, against Max's chest and go, oh, <clears throat> don't. Let me go first. <laughs> we, we don't need we, we Stay safe. <laughs> After you, Cap. Uh, and then I will just kind of, like, walk carefully perceptively actually i'd like to be stealthily walking into the room as quietly as possible okay i am right on his heels <laughs> roll a stealth check okay 18 nice uh so you you go like kind of creeping into the room and like as the the last one of you gets inside the room you hear the door shut behind you and at that moment, you watch as almost apparating out of nowhere, a ghost creature ghost ship Ooh. appears in almost the same spot as the other room. Um, except this one looks a little bit burlier, you might think. Um, it's a little gnarlier, like, and, uh, do you guys, I'll give you guys the option because based on how this, I've set this up, do you want to keep rolling initiative every time or do you want to keep your current initiative? I'll keep my 25. Okay. Uh, if That's it. I don't mind staying. Okay. Finally, someone yeah, knows how to shut a door around here. Um, <laughs> so I will, so as initiative starts again, I will roll for my new creature. Uh. I like how you act like a six-year-old is just like old, feeble human being. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so having a cure first. All right, same shit as last time. Okay, I'm gonna call him. But I'm broke. So, chain attack first. Nineteen. That hits. What? Eight. Plus 14, so 22 points of piercing and sneak attack damage. And yo, fucking cut, come fucking fight me. I'll be over there and I'm gonna run away. Okay. And then cat, and then I'm gonna try and panache him again. So it's another insight. That's a six. Okay, let's hopefully. <gasps> Natural one, baby! <laughs> Not meant to use this against stupid fucking ghosts. All right. So I'm going to. I Maxi, that was the panache. Yeah, Panache. it's it's new. I'm working on it. Um, that's terrible. But so, <laughs> 10, 15, there, uh, and the same exact thing. So I'm done. Perfect. Uh, this will work, and then I'll stop. Sheila, <laughs> I'm gonna get all of Sheila's way. Just I'm. I think I would just instinctively know to get all of Sheila's way. Yeah, you guys can kind of place yourselves in the room <laughs> as you feel like you kind of would have ended up as you entered. At, I I think I would look at Sheila too and just be like. Oh, I'm out. I'm out of the way. I'm out of the but way. All as you. he's as he's doing that, I'm already running, entering into a rage. Uh, yeah, she just does that over and over again, huh? Yeah. Listen, man. She's Angry, got, listen, lady. guys. I got this cool thing I can do. But as I do that, I'm obviously going to get into into a reckless attack and make my move to make my attacks. Perfect. Could have used a friend like that back in the day. You want to see me rage? You want to see me do it again? <laughs> uh, ooh, the first one was an 11. Oof, girl. That misses. So this creature is a little bit more adept, and you see it kind of like step out of the way over the first swing. However, mm, the second swing. It's 27, hits. so it definitely hits. So as that happens, she's going to blame Frost for thin for his issues of not getting out of the way and be like thank you you little elf and then she's gonna roll her damage which is 13. i go out of the way i literally announced it as i got out of the way but you met you messed up my hair and i missed my attack i can fix your hair later 
Uh, like, you think I'm going to trust you to fix this? What? With these luscious locks, you think I don't know how to do hair? I thought that was just like sea salt. It is. That's the secret. Well, the baddie's up, Cho. Yeah. So as you, you swing out, and this creature looks rough, but you don't manage to finish it off completely. Uh, so uh, they're just going to jump on top of you and start uh, like biting and clawing at you. Um, they're going to make a claw attack. That is a 20 to hit. Is that it? It does hit. Yeah, okay. You take nine damages. It just starts slashing into you. And I, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You did that with a, ba uh, a bandage show, right? Because it was reckless? Uh, no, I will roll one more just in case. Sorry. Yeah, please crit against him. That's my DM and me. I can't let that shit go. It doesn't matter. It didn't, didn't get any better. So yeah, so roll a constitution saving throw as well. As, as you feel this claw rake through you, it like, it sears your body as it kind of like rakes through you. 25. But you just fucking like, doesn't matter. You're in a full rage. You're like, whatever. Um, and that was slashing, right? That was slashing. Yes. So slashing. If you can take a half, half damage. Yeah. So four, right? Everything rolls down. Always, yes. roll, always round down. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Max, you're up. Uh, Max is going to see this thing attacking Sheila, uh, and he's going to like slowly climb on top of the bed there, uh, and he's going to raise his staff. Oh, shit. And... <laughs> <laughs> a, uh, a red fire comes out, and I'm assuming zims by him. Yeah, just sl like swings by, missing everything completely, just hits the wall behind the creature. Uh <laughs> And like, Whoa! Oh, Whoa! <laughs> it, it, sorry guys, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, we're Max on a ship. <laughs> Are we though? Right. Uh, that's the end of Max's turn. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's all he's doing. And you're up. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Cast Mage Armor on myself. <laughs> um, you feel extra protected. And I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do as a bonus action? Nothing. <laughs> that doing word? If I had that. <laughs> if I had that, I would not use it. <laughs> I'm up. Colin, you're up. I'm going to be like... I'm going to blow the dust off of my shore bow and then lift it up and I'm going to take a shot. Perfect. Um, I'm assuming because Sheila's within range, I get... Oh, no, I just get sneak attack, yes. right? I don't get advantage. Yeah, no advantage, just sneak attack. 27 to hit. That oh, definitely shit. hits. So that's 1d4 plus 5, then 5d6. So we'll do 1d4 plus first. 6 damage. And then eighteen damage from oh, sneak yeah. attack bonus. How do, how do you I, want to do this? Ooh, I'm just gonna be like, how does this thing work? And ah! <laughs> it's just gonna fire a, a bow and just kind of catch him wherever. It Clean does. right between the eyes, like. Oh, hey! <laughs> the creature just falls back away from you, Sheila, and lands on the ground, and you guys hear the door click open behind you. Could I go up to Tolland? Yep. Hey, Tolland. Yeah. Give me your daggers. Give them? Give me your daggers. No, I need one. No, you don't. You're using that for the rest of fucking ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my daggers and hand over to you. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll shove one in my the hilt that I actually like took the dagger from, and the other one I'll tuck in my other belt. Perfect. All right. You get them back. Once you prove that you're not a fucking... Right. with that thing so the door right. opens i'll let you guys chat for like two seconds i gotta i'll be right back do you want to take a break let's take a break do you guys want to yeah. take a break yeah, yeah. Sure. okay cool take so you guys big, pop back out into the room and we will be right back so thank you guys we'll be, for right back. We'll be back in like five minutes i'm gonna set a timer Just, we do on out of there there's call up 10 call up 10 okay fine we'll be back in 10 minutes sure okay, bye guys
And we're back. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for hanging out. Let us use our little little people for uh little little boys rooms. Um So yeah, so we pick right up where we left off. You guys <coughs> make your way So we're um, standing back in the hallway? Standing back in the hallway, doors one and two are currently open. I'm gonna look at Max. I'm gonna go uh, uh can you like rain that shit in buddy <laughs> uh i'm gonna uh cast mage armor on myself and uh looks like we're getting <laughs> into some things huh what does your mage armor look like uh it is kind of like old and and a little bit tattered it's a long red and black cloak and it's got like this hood that flips over but instead of it being like a hood that goes over it's so old that i've cut eye sockets into it so it kind of just like comes down like a old like you think viking helmet does like a flap over the nose like the square nose like yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, it, and it looks really like tattered and kind of almost like worn like through it. in some spots i love it thank you okay i'm gonna look around and go well friends Looks like we're in this. Finn, you want to do the honors? Open this one up. Oh me? Uh, you want me to open the? You want me to open the door with the with the ghosts and that and shit. Sheila, go first. Open the yeah, door. Yeah, let, let's have Sheila. Let's have Sheila go first. All right. All right. Sure. Try not to leave you out, man. Oh, he kind of says, "Be like, I'm not gonna stab you or nothing." <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just like not trying to, you know. I'm more of an escapee boy, less of a kill the bad guys boy. All right, fair enough. So, Wait. Sheila, you open the door. Wait. Yeah. Uh, and it is another room, identical to the the first two. <laughs> I, mean, I, I lived a long time without actually hurting things. But you're with us, so get used to it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it looks identical. Do you guys all make your way in? Yeah. I wait at the door. I do. I wait outside in the hallway, and I wait till everybody gets in. I go, um, you guys ready to fucking sh- fuck up whatever appears as soon as I shut this door? Because it seems to be a pattern. I got an idea. Yes. Why don't you stay out in that hallway? Because it seems like as soon as you walk in here, the door's going to close and lock, and then we're going to get a baddie. I'm gonna am, look am, at I, am I wrong? And I, he's gonna look around. Am I wrong? No, I think it's part of it, but I just, I just want to be ready. So why don't you stay out there and we all take one of these beds and just take a nap? He's making a joke. Get in here, Tolan. A nap! Right. Get ready. Here we go. I'm going to like run and slam the door behind me and pull my crossbow up. <clears throat> okay. Or a short bow. As you do, this time appearing in a different location in the room than you would have expected, uh, you see another one of these and we'll keep rolling with our initiative order as I pull up the Next creature I have in my thing. Uh, This one is definitely different looking than the first two. Um, Instead of being like this, one of these like more uh, uh, creepy looking creatures like with like fangs and stuff it is a completely it's a, a humanoid body completely encased in wrappings it looks like a mummy because it is a mummy um and yeah and they roll a do, 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 do. shit oh, oh wow. bitch the last one was high too oh, yeah I'm, I'm rolling pretty good I'm good for yeah, this one get out of right. here I was going to kind of like keep it going in a roll, but we actually had popped back up to heavy neck. So back to you. Cool. Sir. Um, all right. So this is going to work eventually. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, <laughs> bonus action. Guys, uh, I got this one thing. <laughs> you guys should check it out. <laughs> I really want it to work. It has disadvantage on attacks after it. So um, bonus action. Uh, I'm assuming that hits. Mm-hmm. So eight plus twelve, so twenty points of piercing. Of oh, oh, sorry, slashing and sneak attack, and roll a insight check while I roll persuasion. 
Finally! <laughs> you stupid mummy, you made a fucking raps, and now you gotta fight me, or else your attacks are gonna take the craps. Um, <laughs> so you have disadvantage on all your attacks, and I'm gonna use my last movement to go here and so be done. What you're saying is the only way to this work is you have to wrap it. Yes. Um, all right, cool. So I have disadvantage unless I attack you. Yes. Perfect. For a whole minute. All right, Sheila, you're up. All right, I'm going to enter into my rage again. <laughs> How many of those do you have? I was going to say, I get tired. Yeah, you, you kind of have, like, maybe two left. <laughs> yeah, I got two left. <laughs> Okay. Just, just how wondering. many? Wait, how many? How many rooms we got left? Three. Shit. Counting this from four. <laughs> Maybe don't use it next time. <laughs> Half rage. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you pop into a rage and pop into a rage. I'm gonna um run and uh, do reckless attack, and I will also throw on ancestral protectors while I do that. Oh boy, so there's no way it's hitting anything. Good shit. So, all right, let's do 25 for the first one, 13 for the second. Both hit. Both hit. Mm -hmm. 14, 12, 26 total. Still standing, but you're definitely definitely taking chunks out of this thing. As you're like cutting through its wrappings, you're almost seeing like parts like decaying parts fall out of its body and like Yeah. It is loosely being held together. However, it is now its turn. So it's going to first um take and it's going to stare at you, uh heavy neck because you've provoked it. I've charmed it. Uh, and it, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Hey, hey that's going to work out for me. Um, I want to see you lose. Oh, I am. I mean, it's. I don't have any luck. 17. I uh, succeed. So yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, after that, it's going to then whip out. It's like. It's going to stare at you, and then it's going to whip out one of its, like, rotting fists towards you. And it's a seven to hit. So it misses. You dip go and with. duck out of the way. And that is its turn. Yeah, like I said, the attacks suck. Uh, Max, you're up. Uh, so Max is going to uh, look at Sheila after she just clobbered that thing. And he's going to go up to her and give her a little tap on the butt with his uh, with his staff and said, this one's on you, girl. And uh, he's going to use his commander's strike to tell her to make another attack on it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so I don't know how to link this because it's not linking, but uh, I, so I'm going to for, forgo my, forgo my it, attack. It linked. I, I copy pasted it, uh, and she gets it, and she gets a one d ten to her damage roll. Dude, nice. Max is the shit. All right, let's let's do this then. This little old goblin, you got it. And as he gives uh, Sheila a little bump in the butt, that's my girl. <laughs> that was a fifteen. That. Hits. And I believe, I believe if you're reckless, you're still reckless. You're reckless through the turn. You're reckless, yeah, so you still have advantage. Uh, Twenty-four. All right, yeah. Uh, do that damage. And that's without my plus ten. That's twenty-three. With the plus d10. Your... Oh yeah. Well, let me roll that d10. Thought it was plus ten. That'd be awesome if it was. Yeah, yeah that would be silly. That would be silly. <laughs> Three. Plus ten. Sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you want to do this, Sheila? <laughs> well, I think uh, as the magic flows up in me and I'm not really controlling myself on this attack, 
I'm going to look over at Max and be like, I haven't been commanded like this in forever. (laughs) (laughs) And as as she raises her sword up, Max is going to wink and she's just going to (laughs) go. That's right, Sheila. Daddy Max has you. Thank you, Daddy Warmax. I think I think she just got herself a sugar day. Oh boy, <laughs> she just got Papa Bear. <laughs> I love it so much. Perfect. So yeah, as you finish this thing off, you watch as the door pops open, and uh, y'all find yourselves with access to the hallway again. Guys, do you want to just knock this next one the fuck out, Sheila? Get your ass in there. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's keep your rage up. I'm going to slap her on the ass to walk by, so keep her rage up as we just run into the next room. I'm going to take right. a whack. Wait, I want to clap on her back. Wait, Sheila, wait. Can I jump on her back and, like, hold on to her neck as we, <laughs> like, barge into this room? Yeah, absolutely. So you guys go charging into the next one. Uh, I, I'm, which, which one can I smack her ass to keep her rage up? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you guys All right, I'm going to make it up. Like, full bore to the next one. So... What do you, you guys, think? Uh, that'd be unarmed attack, so I'm not proficient, right? So it'd be just my proficiency, right? So just plus four. No, not proficiency, just my dex, right? I just have to make an attack. 16 to hit. It hits barely, but it does. So one damage, right? My strength modifier? Yeah. <laughs> Get in there! You guys, you guys all open the door and run in, and Max just walks in and closes the door behind you guys once you're in the room. <laughs> like... Like, does anyone notice how I'm just being so subbed right now? Uh, as a, so you guys ran across to four. Just to ran right straight across and slammed the door behind us to keep the rage up. Cool. So as you guys go charging into this one, this time it is a much different looking creature than the last ones, as opposed to having the more corporeal uh, form of the previous ones. This one is uh, like very ethereal and whatnot and yeah let me, da, 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 da. And, oh, boy. oh boy what did i 20 all right cool and i'm just gonna keep the initiative order going so finn, yeah that, actually, we don't need to go back to me that's silly yeah so finn you are up oh christ uh yeah, yeah there you go boy oh what is this shit uh Um, do I see that Tolland has any weapons out? And my short bow out. Okay, well, fuck that. I'm gonna uh, look at um, Heavy Neck, and I'm just gonna be like, uh, "This looks like uh, this looks like it might be uh, more of shit." No, you will not cast this shit. Uh, things and slash them. <clears throat> it's a ghost, mate. Like, this is gonna do something. Fuck it, and uh, uh, Zilch is gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Nice. Uh, make your attack roll. Twenty for the first one. Ten for the second one. Uh, the first one hits. The second one does not. And that is three force damage. Ooh, buddy. So it like slams into the creature and you can see it takes like a little bit of the wisp out of it and uh yeah. It looks looks like it's it's ready to go. He's gonna bolt over into the corner and just be like, Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again though. Talon, you're up. Okay, so I'm gonna head up this way behind this table over here, this bed, and I'm gonna hold on. Ryan grab. Why can't I grab? On the right layer. You can only grab Sheila for some. All right. Anyway, Tom's going to go to the top of the room and hide and stand behind that table. And because the creature hasn't taken a turn yet, right? In combat. There, there. DM. Uh, Sheila has not taken a turn in combat yet, no. No, no, not Sheila. The so, enemy. The enemy has not taken a turn in combat yet, no. Okay, so I'm going to go up to that table on the top of the room there. I don't know why I can't grab myself. And I'm going to take a shot at advantage, which gives me seek attack with my short bow. It's 20, that's a natural 20. 
Poland, you and because I have advantage, I get sneak yeah. attack bonus. Plus my D4 plus five. Stupid. This is gonna be stupid damage. He's gonna kill it. Six damage from that, and then I'm gonna do so ten D6. Twenty nine damage. Okay. So tw so thirty five damage. And then I'm gonna duck behind the table, crawl around to that the edge of the bed, and I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide. Okay, make a stealth check. Plus thirteen. Um, what you were using your short twenty? Bow? What my short bow? Yes. So you loose the arrow, and you you're like you it goes right through this creature's head, and you like you're like yeah, and it like it goes out the other side, and it just doesn't like the corp like it definitely did something, but it like kind of reforms. And do I notice it not do much? It doesn't doesn't do as much as you expect for that. Kind do of I go fuck, and then I hide? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Pretty much. That's my turn. I'm at the top of the thing. I don't know. I can't move anything for some reason. I don't know why you can't move. It should be set to you. No, I mean, I'm a DM even, so I should be able to do whatever, but I'll reload it. It's not like whatever. the characters keep, keep Have moving. you been able to move the previous character? Yeah, I've been doing everything. I, it bugged out, so I'm just going to reload it. Anyway, okay. move on. Don't worry about me. Okay, cool. Um, up next, we got Heavy Neck. You are up. Cool. Uh, I am going to 15 to there. Uh, rapier attack for the first one. Natural one. You like you thought you hit it, but it just like moved through the air. Oh, I completely missed. Uh, and then I'm going to loosen the chain a bit and then uh, spin it up really quick and then try and attack with my offhand. <clears throat> For then a 19. So he takes eight points of slashing damage plus another eight points of sneak attack damage. So eight, uh, 16 total. Cool. Again, and you're that, noticing this thing doesn't seem to be it, taking as much damage as you expect. Uh, and then 15, 20, 25, I'll run down to the other bed. And as I'm running back, I go, can somebody who knows how to fucking cast a spell get rid of this fucking thing? As I slide to the bedpost. And that's all I do. <laughs> cool. Sheila, you're up. Hey, real quick. Um, I was thinking about being up top here, but that's okay. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. It was I okay. Cool. Move thing. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Well, while still raging, I'll make my approach. Nice. And um, Ancestral Protectors, I'm going to cast that, and I'll go right into a Reckless Attack so I can do advantage on this. Nice. So let's start my attacks. 19. That hits. And 26. Also hits. <laughs> so close. So 17 and 10, 27 damage. Woo! Big girl. Hit yeah! Hard. Some damage. That's what she's born to do. And it, what does Ancestral Protector do? Because I haven't... If you take your focus off of me when attacking to attack someone else, then you have disadvantage. No, oh, Jesus, we both can do this now. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're a good combo. I was you gonna say. Fight us. And to step up the DM game, Joe. I know. That's okay. TPK. TPK. <laughs> I should have took Bane. Should took Bane. <laughs> I might take a level on cleric just so I can bless everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck, that's a good idea. <laughs> everyone take a level in Cleric so we can quadruple bless everyone. Oh, uh, I was thinking about it. Anyway. Oh, boy. Um, anyway. It's like, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's like, okay, roll for the, okay, bless, 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 bless. Okay, so you do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys are uh, all, like, hacking and slashing on this thing, you see it just, like, 
its mouth like opens <clears throat> to like its chest and it just lets out this like and i oh. need everyone to make a constitution saving throw oh boy what if i don't want to uh, you yeah. have a uh. do i have to <laughs> fucking con saves okay whatever at least i have a plus to it i got a four okay 22 with your 17s and 22s okay so it says i says i have advantage on intelligence wisdom and charisma saves versus magic uh yeah, oh you're a rock I'm, gnome too i'm a rock gnome this hey. would be magic but it is not uh i don't know if this, it doesn't matter it's a constitution it's not a con it's a con it's not a, okay um, sorry. sorry it's only mental stuff though. i just forget it's a new thing i'm just reading my stats no, that's first. Well, hey, Joe, be, before you tell us what the dc was uh does a 13 pass or fail? Uh, it does succeed. Okay. Cool. Just fucking barely. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. So, as this creature lets out this, like, insane wail, uh, everyone who passed takes four damage. Heavy neck, you drop to zero hit points. Ooh! Oh! What? I'm dead. <laughs> Just, like... Come on! Just instantaneously, <clears throat> like you just watch his heavy necks, just like he grabs his head and screams and hits the ground, uh, and then out. Cool. So uh, that's the creature's turn. Max, you're up. Uh, Max is gonna turn around from inspecting the door that just shut behind him. <laughs> uh, this is this is pretty well made, guys. <laughs> and uh he's gonna see everybody engaged in combat with this thing uh and heavy neck laying on the ground and uh he's gonna have that little red flame appear from his uh the ball at the top of his uh staff nice hey oh 17 yeah that hits all right uh and so eight fire damage nice and he is then going to heavy neck. Where are you? You're on the bed over there. Yeah, I'm like right next to the bedpost. All right, he's gonna to start to hobble his way over towards where heavy neck is. All right, cool. <laughs> um, so you watch as even as like the fire strikes this creature, it doesn't seem to quite do as much as you expect. Okay. Um, he doesn't expect it to do much at all. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, Finn, you are up. Ah, uh, cripes. Can't have you taking out the captain now, can we? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast Kill Wounds at fourth level on Mr. Heavy Neck. And I'm going to use. Uh, what am I going to use? I believe it's Touch. It is. I'm going to use one sorcery point to make it 30 feet. There you go. Cool. Your wild builds. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, 4d8 plus 5. That's amazing. <laughs> nice. Uh, so that's 21, and I'm going to re-roll that one because that's a thing that I can do. Cool. <laughs> Jesus. Good luck, Joe. <laughs> oh no, this is great. This is why so, I wasn't worried about running a banshee. Like, so that's a seven. So a six, seven, six. So add six to whatever that is. So twenty-seven okay. healing. <clears throat> um, half hit points. Nice. My only fear is if all of you fail that save. <laughs> yeah, that's. But I mean, what are the chances? Like pretty low. Just saying. Imagine that. Just like we're all just like. I, I have plans. <laughs> it would just be like, be like, oh, so Westmarch guys, they stream for a little bit and then just kill the party. <laughs> Let's start over. Uh, <laughs> They're savages. Did you just heal for 26? Yeah, 27. It looks, it looks like you lost your foot in there, son. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even notice that he went down. <laughs> have you, so like, have you like, 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 he just like basically like bends up and is like sitting there and looks over and sees Max's yeah I guess so <laughs> and I'm gonna yes. go back up here in the corner and try not to do that again 
the fuck happened? All right. <laughs> oh, guess what, guys? I got this one cool trick. You should check it out. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do it with my short bow. <laughs> I have a bandage, I assume, right? He's engaged and I'm hidden. Yeah, that, no, hey. Good. Do it. Hey, buddy. Look at you about to get like your assassinate back. So this is 1d4 plus 5. So that's 6 plus 5 is 11. Are you sharp bowing? Yeah. Yeah. That's d6. Oh shit! All right, I'll start over. I've been doing. That's oh, my fault. That's all right. I didn't no know. problem. I don't care. That's four. So nine plus. I'm gonna just do ten d six. Nine plus forty three. <laughs> Fifty two damage. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> As I just like, and I'm gonna duck back down and roll underneath the bed and crawl out and like lay down underneath the bed, prone and hide over here. <laughs> Wow, he's like now he's a sniper. Now he just become a sniper. That's cool. So and that's a natural twenty for my hiding. I guess I'm just rolling all night. Well, how do you want to what do this? Because it doesn't really. You're just it's dead. Did you, you probably um, rhythm so that he would do this? I'm gonna be like, heavy neck. This looks cool as shit. I'm just gonna shoot it again and kill it. And be like, <laughs> just gonna give him like two thumbs up and go. Mate, we found your thing. I found my thing. You know, <laughs> thing. <laughs> and then, and then the second he sees the bench, he's like dead. He's just gonna flop back on his back. <laughs> like, we're taking it to a short rest, please. Oh, are you down again? Do you need? No, oh, fine. And he's oh, like, okay. Fine. All right, I'll just stay over. I'm gonna pull out my water flask. But Cap, Cap, have a drink. Take, take, take a rest. Have a drink. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. Right, I'll pour it on his up. face. I'll, I'll get up. <laughs> I'll, I'll get up and just, like take two swigs and goes, "Oh shit, there's not boobs. I thought this was gonna be boobs." <laughs> I'll hand it, it back to him <laughs> and then pull out my own little flask and go, "This." Toss back just a little sip. I was fucked up. I've never fought one of those things before. What, the, what, what, what was that? Anybody? I think it was a ghost, mate. Like, I mean, it was not taking any of the uh, shit you were throwing at it. The hairs of my arm are still up. Fuck Except me. for you, mate. Like, I, I was wondering why they wouldn't let you use a dagger, but... Right. I, I guess I see why now, because you're meant to be an archer. It's oh, me. yeah. Sorry about that. I, um... Yeah, I, can we just call it a truth, man? I, I, I'm gonna stick with this and just leave daggers out of it for a little Yeah, why don't you just be an archer forever? Like, yeah, obviously, I think like, you, oh, you're yeah. a very good archer. We're gonna get Under... you like, a really nice bow. And, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm like, if you notice, I've been, like, rubbing the rest of the dust off this one and, like, shouting it up. You're like, I think, yeah, I got it. Okay, no problem. Okay, yeah, you don't need a dagger, mate. Okay. You can do whatever you put your mind to. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you, Max. <laughs> come, come sit down. Sit down. Come on, sit down. Can we take a short rest, please? Yeah. Did we get a point of inspiration for that? <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, as you guys, so you guys, the door pops open, but you guys are welcome to just kind of, you like sit down on the beds. They're kind of gross, oh, but like, it doesn't matter. I feel, I, I'll keep, I'll actually stand up and I'll actually, so I'm all set. I'll just kind of keep an eye on the doorway, look up and down, just, just to keep an eye out. Like, not that I'm expecting anything, but you know, I don't want to be caught off guard. Heavy next gonna look straight up at the ceiling and go. Could you give us like twenty minutes? As he like leans up against one of the bed, but like like the actual bed, um, and he's gonna take a short rest. Uh, you don't get a response, but you guys you guys get your hour rest and nothing uh, happens. And... Max spends the first fifteen minutes of Heavy Next rest telling him a story about something. Until he doesn't <laughs> understand that he's actually trying to sleep. Max, Max, I love your stories. I love, I love you as a as a, as a being. But shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, look, you you gotta get used to the stories because you're gonna hear that one like ten more times before the end of the night. <laughs> like, <laughs> like Ben's already heard this shit. <laughs> I heard that story like three times already. And that's how I got my first dinosaur <laughs> pet. I've only known this bloke a few months, and All yeah, right. <laughs> I think I know his entire life story. Uh, 
So I I heal back to full <clears throat> after I shh, just pat you on the leg and get off the bed so you could sleep. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. You the you the you the just out. <laughs> Um, so yeah, hour passes, you guys are able to get yourselves back on your feet, you walk back out in the hallway, and doors 1, 2, 3, and 4 are still open, with 5 and 6 closed. Well, it looks like you lost a rage there, buddy. I'm gonna, like, pat Sheila on the the shoulder, or, well, the hip. Like, no, not even the hip, like the knee. The knee. <laughs> We're not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sheila, you're first. Well, here's the thing, Sheila, once we get done with this room, let's just... Let's just get through them all. I'm going to let's line up. Let's make a plan. Like we'll line up and get Sheila through the door, smacking her ass and into the next room. What do you think? Like, yeah, I think one of you, out. one of you little gnomes needs to tag along for the ride. So who's doing this? Pick me up. <laughs> you know, miss, I just got to say, like, I just, I really appreciate that you're here. I could have <laughs> used a friend like you for like a while back. Well, now you have us and <laughs> Heavy X gonna like let some slack into the chain and then like whip it around and like slap Sheila's ass and go, Come on, girl. And all of a sudden she like nays. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> and then she does. The rage That's just pours real. down her face and her nostrils flare, ready to go. And we just kick open the door and Bust violence it. to room five. And then grab the, the door behind us. Dogs and Broncos stampede through. What uh, a strange group, Finn. <laughs> I love it. I love this group. <laughs> These folks are so weird. But you know, numbers is important. Numbers are. You know what else is important? I really hope you're going to tell me. Cookies. That's true. I'll make you know what I'll make. Yeah! <laughs> I'll make you some cookies when we get back to our ship, assuming it's still there. Well, okay. So you guys, I was hoping we'd find cookies here. Uh, we might. We might. You, you get a hold of that little fireball on the top of your, uh, on top of your staff, and maybe we might find some cookies. Come on, let's go in. And uh, Max heads into the room. So you guys go pouring into this one, and uh, again, another creature pops out, and like this one is, looks a little bit looks solid, however. It has like these two very sharp fangs and just like, and comes like charging towards you guys. Um, I think so. And let me, I'll leave you guys where you're at. We are back to the top of the order. Boop, 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 boop. Sweet. But, uh, cool. All right, Heavy Neck, you are up. All right, so I'm going to use the momentum of Sheila bursting through the uh, room and I want to launch myself off and try to get over this whatever monster that we're dealing with and onto the other side okay um any roll that you need me to make uh no i'll let you do it you just go right, like... i mean I, I, have, I have a plus 12 in acrobatics if that's what if we... all right so oh, okay, i'll, I'll cool. get on the other side and then i will take my hook and chain combo uh with my deck with my rapier and rapier first 30 20 that hits so he takes five points of piercing damage, and then he'll take another uh, hook attack. So right now it's been a total of 10 piercing and slashing damage plus 11. So 21 points in total. And then I will skedaddle. Five, 10. So you, you like go stabbing into this thing and like it seems like you're you're hitting the spots that matter but like because it's just like dead flesh it just doesn't like you're like stabbing and you're like yeah but the creature doesn't seem as affected by it. Um, oh okay cool. So as I like as I'm done like slashing through with the hook and like snap it back I'm going to run alongside of the the back wall and just be like fire kill it with fire, kill it with fucking fire. And I'm going like, to just like <laughs> slam into the headboard basically. And then I'll be done. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sheila, you are up. Real quick. Right. Heavy Nick, are you level nine? Yes. Wouldn't your sneak attack be five D six? Is it? I don't know. I didn't really look. I was just here. We'll do an extra one. 
Five. Cool. So twenty six. <laughs> I didn't really look, to be honest. <laughs> I think it goes up every other. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's five d six. You you correct. Thank you, Mister Rogue. <laughs> Sheila, full raged. I um am gonna do reckless attack. And as I am charging through, you're going to see my ancestral protector summon up around me. Nice, nice. And um, I'm going to roll my attacks now. 17 for the first, 18 for the second. Both those hit. All right. I'll do my damage. And that is 18 plus 18. 23. No, that's 33. Thank you. Damn. Um, so, yeah, you go slashing into this thing, and it is, you just, like, just starts, like, all sorts of cuts. You notice it doesn't seem to be as affected by your slashes as you'd expect, like, a normal human to be, but you're definitely doing some damage to it. Um. Max, you are up. Uh, Max is going to hear Heavy Neck say fire, and he's going to walk over here and cast uh, this at second or at fourth level. Damn. Uh, for uh, so make a DC fourteen save, a Dex fourteen save. Dex. Yeah. Oh, come oh. On. Sorry. all right. Well, you take half damage. Nice. So, fourteen fire damage. This thing is spry, so it leaps out of the way. But you do like it's still all of the the damage that it does take. The fire like sinks into it. So, and uh, since it's a, a sorcerer spell, I'm gonna roll my d20 from my wild magic. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> he crits with a twenty on that. Oh yes. shit! That goes to the. The table, right? Yes. Oh, uh, magic table. table. Yep. Oh man, first so one. That's on day. you, Joe. So you, de- you decide the outcome of this. Oh, no, no, you roll a D100. Oh, D100. I roll a D100. Yeah. A D100. Yeah, D100. D100. I'll hold up. Hold up. Hold on. It's here. I, I got my book. I'll, this I'll is good. Be... And I got mine right oh, in front of me. Please turn into a potted plant. Oh God. <laughs> so I roll a. I roll a D100. I got it right here. Wild magic surge. What'd you get? Thirty-one. Joe, you got it? You want me to do it? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> fireball? No, even better. You want me to read it, Joe? You can read it. I got it. Uh, so, you you feel yourself, like, pop out of existence as you are transported to the astral plane until the end of your next turn, at which time you return to a space you previously occupied or the nearest unoccupied space, if that space is oh, yeah. <laughs> So I cast disappear. and I just disappear. <laughs> Max? As you, as you do, you find yourself in like this like eerie like black kind of starry skied space and you're just like fuck <laughs> not again <laughs> well I guess that's the end of Max's turn <laughs> um with that, we find ourselves at the vampire spawn, who goes oh. charging towards Sheila. And wait, is, no, me. Did I? Oh, did I skip? I skipped you. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I'm gonna cast. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna look towards uh, Max and be like, "Hey, Max, now, now's your time to shine." And then Max does that thing and then just disappears. I'm like. Or not. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast. Uh, let's see. Why don't I do a shield of faith on um, Sheila? Nice. So that's a plus two to your AC. And I'm going to do a. Oh, fuck it. I'll do another Eldritch Blast. Guess we're fighting. We're always fighting. Come on, guy. Eldridge Blair. That's a 12 and an 18. 
Uh, the 12 does not hit, but the 18 does. Okay. Seven force damage. Nice. And then you see the full force of this thing slam into it, and it's, like, knocked back. It's it's looking bloodied. You're definitely getting a hang out of this thing. Um, that worked. Kinda. Uh, Where's you... Max? <laughs> <laughs> My dex is a plus five, Joe. Nice. Um, oh, I thought we were tied, but never mind. I thought. Oh shit. no, it's a fourteen. So, just be true. Right. Um. So yeah, the you watch as like, as you're doing all this damage to it, you watch as the creature still like, you watch as some of the wounds close up a little bit. Um. As this creature seems to be like regenerating itself, and then it's going to. <sighs> just hop onto uh, Sheila and start like scratching and biting towards you. Um, first one is going to be a claw. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, so it like slashes at you. However, I believe a seven misses. Uh, and then it, it like, you're, it's like just slashing wildly at you. So it's going to slash again. There we go. And there's the crit. <laughs> so you take... Uh, 14 damage and it just like latches onto you and it's now like on you and you can see it's tr like it's like sunk its claw in and it's trying to get its mouth around your neck looks good but that is all it could do on its turn so and that's that is slashing damage so you take half damage you're muted so and Tal ah. <laughs> Talon, you're up. I'm going to run into the middle to make like a straight line, just so that in case Sheila does finish this fucking guy up, we can smack her ass on the way out. And I'm going to step behind you, actually, in the doorway, because I'm small and can get by you. And I'm going to shoot my bow with advantage, because... No, no, not with advantage, but I'm going to get a sneak attack if I hit. that that Probably. misses it's just like it's you're trying to get a shot around sheila and this thing is like on her and she's whipping around now and just... do i get a second attack because it's my short bow with my bonus action no that's only with daggers because they are technically an offhand hit or, yeah it's an offhand okay if that's the case i'm gonna roll around the corner of the door you can't like, get out it... the door is shut uh fuck that shit i'm gonna <laughs> it's a beautiful door <laughs> <laughs> You're eerily. I'm just gonna stand right there with my bow out, like <laughs> fuck, and that's what I'm gonna do. That's the end of my turn. Cool. Oh, is he? Uh, heavy neck. You are up. All right. I am going to, and then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yep. Get to twenty. Uh, I will attack him with advantage with my rapier. Twenty-five. So. That, that is 11 plus 5 so 24 points of piercing and sneak attack damage nice uh, and then <clears throat> with uh, actually you know I'll just take my next I'll do a bonus action disengage or bonus action dash and then run over to the other bed. Uh, it will get. Oh no! Wait, you have the built-in splash buckler. Yeah. Yep. So I'm just like, ah, sick. And then just ah, and then run over to the other bed. <laughs> and then slide. <laughs> Obviously, I can't hide, but that's so funny. Uh, Sheila, you're up. Perfect timing. Mm. Sorry, I keep having a 15 amp breaker trip, and it's I think it's a bad breaker. Oh, yeah, Oof. rough dude. It's all good. Um, I'm going to reckless attack again. Nice. And so, and I still have ancestral protectors up, so I'm just gonna see if I hit. Mm. Oof. 21 now. 
Uh, 21 hits. No, Nat. Uh, I think that's too many. Yeah, that's yeah. too many D20s. Sorry. That's, that's... Oh, shit. Oops. You're going two Nat 1s, bro. Oh, sorry. I Holy shit. messed up yeah, but my... He has it, but he's rolling with advantage. No, no, no. It's a, It was a 10 and a 1. A 10 and a 9. So that first one missed, and then a 9 and a 21, so the second one hit. Yeah, you only I got I feel one. bad that the crit is not technically a roll. Yeah, yeah we'll I know. We'll use I, that for the next one. I yeah. clicked on the wrong <laughs> one. <everyone>. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. It's a 15. Nice. We only get, like, one per, like session unless you're Tolland who gets 45. Yo, what am I supposed to do? I didn't play, ask for that. You'll keep getting natural 20s please. That's what you need. To <laughs> so Max, you, you do have a turn however you were in the astral sea until the end of it. Do you do anything? I'm just that? floating. I'm just admiring the sights at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am soaking this all in, excited to tell my friends about this new place I've just experienced. <laughs> so I'm gonna have some cool stories when I get back. <laughs> and for the six of, seconds that I'm there, yeah, you complete that thought, and you feel your feet like thump thump onto wood ground again, and you're back in the room, and you see everything still going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the immediate end of my turn, so I can't even say anything. Max, you're back. Wait, what? <laughs> Finn, you're up. Max, what the? Uh, all right. <laughs> 15, 20, 25. I've had enough of this. Um, I'm gonna cast Vampiric Touch. Oh shit! On the vampire, suck it. Uh, and that is plus eight to hit. Eighteen to hit. That does. You have advantage because you're flanking. Oh yeah, let me do it again then. Crit. There it is. <laughs> All right, so that's sixty-six. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we have the real vampire. A <clears throat> sixty-six doubled. No, it's sixty-six total. So, so that's nineteen necrotic damage, and I heal for nine, so which I didn't really need to. But as you like like go to suck the life out of this thing it almost like fights back and then necrotic energy just doesn't do as much as you'd expect um so you only do 10 damage i don't know oh, if that sorry. affects the heal yeah yeah okay well i mean i only needed four so um all right and i can't cast the spell as a bonus action so uh, i guess i'll just hang out here oh shit <laughs> um <laughs> the creature that is currently still like on top of you sheila uh, is going to like rear back and try and sink their teeth in. And miss. Uh, so what does it look like when this like thing comes like it's right on top of you but still just does not manage to get into your neck. Killing it. The beautiful mane protects you. Oh, no. It's that shield of faith, can't baby. Get through the, can't, can't get through these traps, baby. <laughs> Just the muscles are like, ah. <laughs> uh, um, I didn't hear it. it was, anyway. Uh, and then, like, it comes up with its claw while you're, like, you're just, like, flexing and it's not doing anything, but it does sneak its claw up into you, and it's an 18. But you have shield of faith, so, what is that, plus two? Yep. Is that, st what is your, what's your? Yeah, it hit, puts me at 18. Okay, so it does it. So you take eight slashing damage, or half that, um, as it like just sinks its other claw, like strikes its other claw across your chest, and it still does seem to like regain some of its life force, uh, even though it isn't able to like sink into you yet. But it is now Tom's turn. I am going to shoot it. Nice. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Well, no, I won't say that. Just in case. So I'm going to try to shoot it. That's a natural <laughs> one. What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Colin's playing with loaded dice over there. Yeah. What the shit? This is Yo. amazing. I'm going to pay for a next game. Wild. 
Let me know when you suck. <laughs> That's 12 plus. So, like 52 damage. 35, so 47. That's so silly. Talon's got places to be. Yo, I'm just like, yo, this thing is sick. <laughs> I was like, How do you want to I'm just like, I like this thing, guys. I like it. I'm just going to shoot it again and just fucking kill this thing. Never it, seen it. It's, it's like there. struggling. He watches it like almost like it's like struggling to try and get its teeth through those massive like traps. And then just the arrow goes through its head and it just like falls off of you, Sheila. And you watch as the door pops, pops open. Uh, uh, Sheila, go, 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 Let's go, 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 go. And I'm gonna like go to like slap her ass going through the door again on her and, turn sprinting across and, and the hall. Try and hit her with his chain while he's like trailing. So you guys like you, you do yeah. everything you can to like get Sheila rolling, but like you exit out this this room at like full speed, and you just hear a a little too much. Try again, and you watch as all the doors shut. Well, uh, I'm still gonna try to kick the next door in. Which one are you going for? Across whatever exactly across the hall then. So you're going yeah. back to two? Yeah. Okay. Wait. What? I thought we were going like a zigzag pattern. You well you guys had gone one, two, three, four, five. And now you could either I mean you Oh no, can we run straight down the hall? Is there like a main door? So as you exit five, you go like charging out of five and you watch as you, all the other, like one, two, three, eight, four, and five doors were open. But as you leave five, you watch as they all shut and you just hear a like little like voice kind of whisper through it and just like a little too much. Try again. Um, but yeah, you guys, wherever you guys want to head, just let me know. We'll yeah, see we'll much I'm going to, I was, I was thinking we're going to go right back across the hall with the door shut. So I'm kicking back in two and sending Sheila in guns blazing. Sure, I'm in. Fuck it. That was the original plan. I'm sticking to it. Okay, I like a little, it. A little too much. What? What's she mean? A little too much? I don't know. Keep her going. <laughs> little, too, her. <laughs> little too, little too many just, crits. I'm just trying to keep the rage yeah, up. We're doing too good. Are you? Do we break the game? Is that what you're mad about? Um, yeah. So you guys bust into uh two and. <laughs> Uh, let me get my monster. Um, we will kill our way through this somehow, <laughs> some way. Uh, yeah, we can see about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna use the same mini. It doesn't really matter. Um, so as you guys bust into it, you see the same like. You guys all run in, the door shuts behind you, and you see the same creature that was in this room before. It is like kind of burly, uh, like undead like creature with this like lapping tongue hanging out of it. And let me delete the initiative and reroll it. Bunk. Much worse this time. All right. You might roll 20 is frozen again. Hold on. Colin was left. Wait a minute. <laughs> what what room are we in? Two again. Are you trying to make a pun too much? No. So yeah. So uh heavy neck, you were up. Cool. Um Are we all like here, basically? Uh, you get I you, you guys came charging in wherever you want to be in the room. Feel free to right, adjust um, yourselves. They, this isn't the first time you've popped into one of these. So, All right, cool. So I'll run up. I'll run <laughs> behind Gila. Bonus action. Attack with my hook. 26. So 8 plus... 14, so 22 points of uh, slashing, and uh, make a insight check. Okay. And hopefully, come on, baby. <laughs> Panache does doesn't not work. seem affected by you. Uh, you're big and ugly and dumb, and you should come over here and fuck, I can't think of anything, and that's it. <laughs> 
Okay, cool. That was 22 points of damage. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm dumb. Something about run. Run. <laughs> Sheila, you are up. Still raging. All right. Run right into a reckless attack. And let's throw up Ancestral Protectors. Nice. Okay. Here is my attacks. 18. Yep. Both those hit. Oh, right. You got crit advantage. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely hits. And 27 for the second. Guys, we're killing them too fast. That's what she's upset about. And 14 and 16 for 30. How do you want to do this? <laughs> she's uh, going to pull her hair back. Put it up in a ponytail. <laughs> and as she does that, she's going to pull her sword out and go. <laughs> just like the shrink, shrink, and you just watch as like, the body like slides off. In yeah. Directions. What's As soon as this happened, I'm going to yell the group and be like, what's the plan, guys? Are we just keeping in kill rooms or are we trying to move on? Number four. four. Number four it is. Sheila! And I'm going to smack her on the ass on the way out, as we've been doing. As the could... door pops open, Max gets a little startled. Oh, goodness, the, <laughs> the hinges on these doors. Max, Max, let's go. Let's go. Let's we, go. We don't have time for this, Max. Let's go. Oh, he kind of stumbles forwards. So you guys go charging into room four. Uh, again, you pop in, uh, and it is the same creature you had seen in here before, as this, like, ethereal, ghostly creature um, comes, like... So I am one. Uh, have we been in this room before? You have. You've been yeah. in the room before. Is there any rooms we haven't been in? Six. Has it, has it been six? We didn't go in six. We went one, three. We went one, two, three, four, five. And then all the doors shut. Now you've done two and you're in four? Yeah. We should do six next. We should do five next. And then six? Nope. What's your plan? Just trust me. I like it. Uh, sure. So anyway, we attack. Okay. <laughs> Let me roll initiative for this creature. You're gonna like having me around. <laughs> <laughs> uh so Sheila is the last to go. So Max, you are up. Uh so Max is is this what he sees? Is the creature still there? You see like this like I'm not changing the models because you guys are going so quick, but you see like this ethereal creature, the one that uh knocked Heavy Neck out originally. Oh great. Okay. Um, well, he's kind of got the, the rhythm of things at this point. <laughs> um, he, he thinks he picked up what we're doing in the last room. So he's going to roll the hit and just walk over. Guys, I am exhausted. And uh, take a seat on the corner of the bed here. <laughs> I'm a wooden ship. <laughs> I keep saying I do that. Uh, that was an eight to hit. Uh, that does not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> Again, it goes right by this creature. It's like the same spot on the wall behind. Turning <laughs> um, catch on fire. Finn, you are up. Is my uh, shield of faith still up on Sheila? Yes. Yeah. I'm okay. assuming this is like the way you guys are handling it is just right we're through. sprinting. All right, sick. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do. So my Eldritch Blast is just like weird little pockets of energy. I hold my hands like this, and they just kind of spin around each other and then just arc out. Nice. Um, so they just go. I love it. It's like, oh, I'm trying to think about that. It reminds me of something. I don't know, but, but I love it. All right. That was a crit fail on the first one. <laughs> it's the same spot on the wall. that. Uh... 18 on the second one. The 18 hits. That is 1d10. Two force damage. Nice. The solid That's a real hit. good, real good at this spell. I told you I'm not an attacker. Sorry, God. Talon, you are up. I, I'm gonna go back to this door and try to pick the lock. If I can try to get out or something. You. So you look at like where a lock should be, and there's nothing. There's and, no way. Okay. And you like well, twist the handle real this. quick, and it just it's. It just like spins. I'm just gonna turn around and shoot this thing with a natural twenty. Okay. 
Wait, is there nobody near it? There's no one near it. Ooh, then I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run over here. 15 feet. I'm going to hide behind this as a bonus action. Okay. 24 to hide. That, you feel very hidden. All right, I'm going to take my advantage on my attack. Where did he go? 27 to hit. That hits. That's nine piercing damage, and then wait, no, I did it again. I did a D four instead of a D. Give me one second. <laughs> you just really want to roll low. Six damage. Oh, go Check back to the D four. <laughs> <laughs> and twenty eight. Oh, six, 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 five, five. Twenty eight nice. sneak attack damage. My God, damn. So that's easy, eight. son. Thirty four. So 34. 34 halved. 15, 17. 17. 17. Collins a fucking howitzer. <laughs> Guys, this thing is sick. <laughs> like this boat. It's just my new best friend. So the Banshee is going to uh, like look around the room and just move like float effortlessly towards Sheila. And then it's just going to like reach out um with its its hand and attempt to like strike through you almost. Why did that? I didn't mean to roll that twice. First one eight. Uh, does not hit. So it just like it goes to move through you and just it's like you get softly touched across the chest. <laughs> um, Ooh, the I'd usually charge for that. <laughs> um, heavy neck, you are up. All right, uh, I'm going to run up. I believe that's 15. I'll take my advantage with my rapier. 11 plus let's do that. 15, so 26 points of piercing and sneak attack damage. Nice. Uh, it's still up. It is still up. Cool. Yeah. Um, I will use my bonus action to attack it again with my hook for 27. Yep, that hits. And he will take another, not 41, I wish, seven points of slashing damage. Nice, nice. And then that's it. I'm running <laughs> away. I like it. Nope. And that's all I'm going to do. Sheila, you are up. Right, I'm gonna make my attacks while reckless. So let's do it. Ooh, nat twenty on that one. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. Spread and twenty-seven on the other one. I'll roll damage for this one to uh, roll an additional damage because I got brutal critical. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, I love in barbarians crit. Love it. It's juicy. So let's see. First attack is 14 plus my brutal critical is a. Let me do that one more time. Boom, that's a 17. And then I'll roll my damage for third attack. And that's a 13. So that is 30, uh, 44. 44. Come on, baby. It's gotta be dead. So, like, like most of these creatures, you guys are struggling sometimes to like really sink the damage in, but but you just enough to like cleave this thing, and you watch as it like you just like sweep through it. It's almost like the I don't know. What does it look like as you cleave like destroy this incorporeal creature? As Chiel's raging, and she's just like super pissed off. Like her hair is like all frizzy that she pulled back and <laughs> she pulls her hair up and she's like so annoyed by it. And she's just like, you fucking bitch. And she just goes, bam, bam. And then on the third one, bam, goes through. Nice. And it just like, and it just the smoke disappears and you guys are out of this one. You you hear the door pop open. I'm going to put my, where, right where to next? Four, five, 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 five. Smack her on the ass again. So you guys Max like... cast another firebolt at the target. 
Muses, he just kind of like rests on the bed. <laughs> guys... Max, we need you. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> come All on, right. Come on. I'll, I'll like, I'll, like, I'll shoulder him. So I'll be like, come on, boy, let's go. He is like out of breath. <laughs> I know, it's been a long day. <laughs> you just loop around the corner and bust back into five, and you see a, uh, as you all get in there and the door shuts, you see a, uh, another one of those vampire spawns. It's just God damn it! Come char- like charging towards you. And... Oh, we have to do the rooms to add up to 11. I get it. <laughs> I I'm really glad it. one of you had figured it out. <laughs> I was like, if not, this is gonna take all night, guys. <laughs> I was, I was like, too much, too much. I was like, oh, because the end thing's eleven. Why would they skip all those? No, oh. Paul has no idea. <laughs> Back of ass is getting people into rooms. I guess we're just doing this. Just like, point uh, in the direction. As you figure it out, I, I just like kind of give you a wink. <laughs> the, the whole time this is happening in Sheila's head while she's raining, raging is Kylie Minogue's The Locomotion. <laughs> choo choo! Uh, so come Max, on, come on, do the locomotion. Do you want... It, technically it's your turn, and the combat had ended in the last one, so... You are up. As you come, like, panting into the room. Um, are you talking about to me? Uh, yeah. No, Max, uh, Josh... Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry, it. say that one more time. Uh, it is your turn. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Um, he's just going to make his way over to the bed again. Uh, <laughs> and he's going to take a seat and just tap his staff on the floor. Um, and <laughs> miss again. <laughs> he's like, well, we're going, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh Talon, or, uh finn you're up <laughs> all right i'm gonna drop my uh i'm gonna drop my shield of faith and i'm gonna go ahead and cast haste on sheila nice oh, holy <laughs> jesus god i don't know why i didn't just do this first but go ahead there you go <laughs> you feel even more invigorated Actually, uh, Finn, what does it feel like to be hasted by you? That's a better, that's a better way I want to put it. Um, kind of just like the same thing. I just feel like that. Just like a, like most of his uh, spells and shit just like have like that kind of thing happening. <clears throat> and then it's just like a, it's like a cool like like you just jumped into the ocean. Oh, I like it. Refreshed. Okay. You just feel refreshed and loose and like faster and. Nice. Somehow wet. <laughs> Somehow wet. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't say my uh, my mage armor and my shield of faith are all just like you just get like this glistening like beads of water. <clears throat> That's awesome. That they're right. like you know like rock hard. I love it. All right, uh, Tolan, you're up. Is it all right? Is it not dead yet? It it is very much not dead yet. I am, since he's not in combat with anything, I'm going to hide again. I'm actually going to run over here. I'm going to sl- jump over this bed. And I'm going to hide to here. And then I'm going to jump to this side. And then that was 20, 30. What am I at? 25 feet. Parkour, over. Parkour. 25 <laughs> feet over these beds. I'm going to hide here. And then I'm going to hide here. I, hide I, well, here. I didn't think I realized that I was looking directly <laughs> at it. and realized I need to get a little farther. All this energy. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he gets Wait, up, who did I? Who did I cast haste on? <laughs> <laughs> you feel you feel hidden. Tallin. Eighteen to hit or eighteen to hide? I I assume that was your hide. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Do you have advantage? Uh, yeah, you are hidden. Twenty-seven to hit. Oh yeah. All right. Disappears again. Look at that. Ten piercing and sixteen sneak attack. So six, twenty-six damage. Nice. Where did he go? <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna make it. 
Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna make it a whole campaign with sex. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'll mute myself. I'm sorry. No, it's great. Uh, <laughs> so the baddie like whips around and seeing Sheila like looking, or er, you've had guard. Yeah, it's just gonna. It's actually gonna whip around and charge towards heavy neck. Okay. Uh, I believe the guardians are still going, so it's going to take disadvantage. But looking at the oh, good. gleaming, terrifying Sheila, is going to take a, a little bit lesser of a attempt. So, first one, and then let me roll a dis disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage, suck it. Fifteen. Ah, uh, you do not hit. Okay, and then they're going to make a second attack. Okay. 20. Yeah, that hits. So, so I can't dodge. All right. So you only take, you, you would have taken eight. You take four slashing damage, but you are grappled as it oh, like fuck. sinks its claws into you and like pulls you in. Uh, it's your turn. Have you, Nick? Well, and with my ancestral Early protectors, grappled. if you attacked him, I can use spirit shield as long as he's within 30 feet of me. Oh, as a reaction shit. okay to reduce his damage by 2d6 okay. oh cool i like it so i don't take any damage i was gonna say since i roll think, it i was yeah, gonna say roll, roll 2d6 me yeah yeah unless you roll really shitty he's not gonna take any damage yeah. yeah, so, so you know, it takes no damage. It just it pulls you in, but it's just like a lovingly pulled in. So you are still grappled, but you didn't take. It's any caressing damage. me. Yeah. Gross. Uh, I'm just gonna look at him and we go. <laughs> wrong fucking move, and I'm just gonna try and I'm gonna like attack him twice, but I'm gonna attack him like at the same time to try and I don't know do more damage, even though I won't. Um. A natural one for the rapier. That misses. And then a 17 for the hook. That does hit. All right, so. And then. And this heavy net does land his attack on his hook. Sheila's going to yell, isn't it like the hook that brings you back? Uh, he's going to take 27 points. Of psychic uh, damage? Of, <laughs> of slashing and sneak attack damage. And then that's all I'm going to do. All right, Sheila, you are up. And you are hasted. And you are hasted. So oh, you get an extra attack. All right. So you get to attack, an extra attack action. So he gets four, right? I believe it's worded an extra attack. Okay, all right. Well, it's I, I know. The, the wording is weird, but I think the way it's technically... I tried to get your four, Sheila. Yeah. You, get you, only another... get one attack. you only get your two attacks on your original attack if it's a hasted attack you just get a single attack yeah you get another attack where you or you get another action where you can attack once where you can attack once it's the you have three so does my reckless attack apply to my hasted attack yep. sure does all right let's do it Fourteen twenty-five. yep 24 it's in, it's in parenthesis 28 for the third. Okay. All three hit. <clears throat> that is 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, Starting to look bloodied. You guys are taking a chunk out of this thing. Uh, starting, to look starting. Bloodied? Fuck. You you notice it's just it's the undead flesh. Like no matter how much damage you do to it, it just doesn't seem to like. Just it's just it seems like it doesn't even really care. Uh, but Max, you are up. Uh, Max has flopped back on the bed and is laying down, 
Um, and he has his staff, and he is just thumping his staff on the ground um, to make these bolts come out of the top of it. <laughs> you guys so got this. I'm just going to hang out here for a second and uh, catch my breath as he thumps <laughs> his, stick, his staff on the ground. Uh, nice. ten, 10 fire damage from him. Nice. Nice. I love it. That's and he's just going to lay on lay on the bed for a couple seconds. That sinks in real good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Finn, you're up. All right. Two more bolts of Eldritch Blast. That's a 14 and a 16. Uh, 16 hits. 16 hits. Four force damage. Nice. Duck it. <clears throat> Plus sneak attack. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Talon. What do you got left in you? I think that's about it. Since he's engaged, I don't even have to hide. I'm just going to attack. Nice. 26 a hit? Yep. All right. Oh, he's three away. Eight plus. Twenty nine damage altogether. Half to fifteen. Fourteen. Woo. So you watch as it, it like this creature looks like it's about to go down and like it reforms a little bit of itself. Um and it just keeps like digging into you, uh heavy actually it's gonna like it's gonna like just let go of you heavy neck and it's gonna whip around ah. and see uh sheila there just like wildly swinging at it and it's gonna take some advantage strikes on the reckless one um that's that uh, and then so it's 16 to hit hits 16 hits all right so as it hits you take nine slashing damage and then it's gonna try and bite you again can I can I bend luck on that and have them roll the d4 and subtract that from their uh, hit to hit from the first one? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it still hits right because it's a net twenty no matter what. Even if it minuses. Oh, zero. I thought it was a sixteen. No, you're talking 16. about the claw. So yeah, yeah. go ahead. Oh my fault. Uh, uh, d4. So subtract two from that. So fourteen. It's a fourteen hit. Fourteen doesn't hit. Does not hit. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Max is the shit. So, instead of the like, instead of being able to bite down on you, it just slashes at you again with a claw. Um, because you were not grappled, so you take uh nine uh, plus five, so fourteen slashing damage, and it is now heavy next turn. Well, doesn't that mean he missed with both claws? Um, so he had advantage on the first claw. I'm just using the attack oh, 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 bite gotcha. as a claw instead. <clears throat> gotcha. So, but the damage is different. So instead of doing that, right? Is... I'm gonna shove a rapier up his pooper. <laughs> At an advantage. Twenty-five. That that hits. Damn right it does. 11 points of piercing damage along with 15 points, so 26 points in total how do of you piercing do sneak attack. Oh, how do I want to do this? All right, so as it, like, drops me and turns around, I'm just going to, like, brush off my shirt really quick, pick up my rapier, and then just literally – I'm not even straight for its rectum. So I want to go straight up, twist, and then I'm going to pull it out through the bottom and then have it split it's just like pelvis. it's just like it's you can see like the one one side of it still stuck into sheila but the other side just slumps to the ground and then that side slumps to the other side and then after i'm done i'll just i'll look at you and go i got you girl you 11 <laughs> yes <laughs> as we sprint out of the room you guys spr are you sprinting into 11 yeah okay so because as you guys leave five you 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 feel like you would have heard something but you're going so fast 
that like the door is all <coughs> shut and 11 pops open and it's it looks like this like very well lit uh captain's quarters and the aroma of cookies is just like just drawing you in so quickly nice. we made and, it guys and, i slapped uh, sheila's ass and you guys like bolt in and as you like come in there it like the door shuts behind you and you're like ah and then like a minute passes and then like you kind of fade a little bit and like a plate of cookies like floats out in front of all of you i'm smacking sheila's ass every six seconds <laughs> i am but at least the first 30 <laughs> seconds like are we doing this are we doing this i am immediately reaching out to take a cookie off the plate <clears throat> So as you like take your first cookie, it is delicious. I saw oh. I I refrain from slapping. <laughs> um, and as you, hey, do you of... guys, I don't want to be rude. Do you guys want one of these? Max, is it good? It, it's it, they're is it they're real? amazing. Here, have one, and I I'm gonna hand hand Heavy Neck a cookie as I eat another one. Heavy Neck will sniff it. Is it trapped? Doesn't seem so. It smells good. All right, have next gonna take a little nibble. It's delicious. I grab one. All right, here, here. Next... Sheila, Sheila, Finn, have one. And I'm gonna hand him each a cookie. Sheila, I take a big bite. You know how as much you, I as want you put to have the a cookie. cookie. As you put the cookie in Sheila's hand, it's just like <laughs> this tiniest little uh, circle, like within her palm. For you, madam. For you. Oh, well, how generous of you. You little pervy goblin. Of course, manners are hard to find these days. <laughs> um, Nobody's <laughs> knocking around here, just opening doors all over the ship. <laughs> so, Hello. As you guys are having your cookies, and like Finn, whether you, do you take one or do you just? Like, I am not. Okay, I am not. That's fine. Um, you know, it's, uh, some things just you know, if it's if it seems too good to be true, you know, it's fine. If it's if it's if it's good, it's fine. One of us should not have the cookies. Finn, have a cookie. I will take, and I will take that. Finn, have a cookie. <laughs> I will refrain. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll eat yours. As you're all kind of like chatting and some of you are munching on your cookies, you see like this tiny little like spectral like figure kind of like step out from behind one of the bookshelves and kind of like walkingly float towards you. And it was just like, and it's just like, finally, I found someone worthy to to save and release me. Does Max see this person, or is he still engaged with his cookies? Uh, that that is up to you. Uh, <laughs> I think he would see that and probably offer a cookie. <laughs> uh, the the like the spectral figure like reaches out and like picks one up, and as they pick it up, it like turns ethereal, and you can see them like munch on it and they're like how long have you been stuck here yeah i don't trust that for shit <laughs> so it's i've moved around a lot i and she like looks at it and like it looks like a <clears throat> captain's quarters but on like i don't know the desk or whatever you'd have it's totally empty except for one singular like tome that looks kind of like a diary can i go over and check it out uh yeah, as you walk over to it, she starts to explain. She's like, as I've moved around a lot, uh, people grabbing me and hoping to prove themselves, but eventually I found myself to the ship, and then unfortunately it encountered a less than fortunate end. Not, not by my doing, but since it had become abandoned, one might say, I decided to move to it but now that you're here and you've shown yourself strong and wise i i offer you a, a deal if you if you take my diary i will i can lead you to riches but you must avenge my death i i it's was always a catch i was killed along with my family in a brutal way by our my owner heavy neck has already beelined it to the da like the diary and like just <clears throat> i'm sta i'm standing there too Who's your owner? A, a man by the name of, of uh, Yon. Yon? Yon. The spell with a Y or a J? A J. Guys, we should make some jerky. That was the plan. Um, 
if I can lead you to them, um, and if you can, there, there are riches on the island where he, he currently exists, but he has gone mad and he needs to be put out. Um, I can, I, if, if you're willing, just take my diary with you. Do I believe her? I uh, think I the diary. It sh- like, it doesn't seem like, considering you just fought a whole bunch of like creepy ghosts and stuff, like it seems like if this thing wanted to kill you, it already would have. So, yeah, you can make an insight check if you want it. Now you're telling me that other people have tried. Why'd you put the bodies? Oh, if if you don't make it through the trials, then I just send you back. It's hmm. I don't I after don't, one. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, seems seems honest. <laughs> Guys, I believe her. <laughs> it's not surprising. Um, Why well, I didn't believe you? Surprised you didn't try to stab it. <clears throat> I'm laying off this. Have you seen this thing, by the way? I hold up the sharpa. Yeah, you, yeah, that's that's more your style. Put that down. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I like pointed at you. <laughs> what was your name? My name. My name is. Uh... Fuck, did I not Can I open the diary and look at the front page, and maybe it's like a clear diary. This it is. belongs to. Um, I can't believe I didn't actually get the <laughs> name. I'm so bad, and I don't have my. Hey, you're not man's getting late. I got you. We're almost done. No, I'm. I'm just saying it's not your fault. Like, hurry up, fuck. I mean, like, I lose track of things, too. Oh. My name is Margaret. Margaret. Well, Margie. That's not what she said her name was. (laughs) She looks at you, like, and (laughs) smirks, and she's like, it's Margaret. Well, Margaret. (laughs) I accept. And I'll pick up the diary and, like, kind of just... So as you pick up the diary, uh, all of you feel like this. You like blink once, and you're no longer in the boat. You're standing back on your boat with the sail up, the moon high in the sky. You were moving again, and like you look, and the ghost ship is nowhere to be found. Oh bloody Christ! Um, but- can, I, can I see if I can I grab the? Can I walk up to heaven? Can I, can I see that book for a second? Sure. Oh, can I like flip through it just see if there's words or anything in it? Yeah, it's it is a diary. It is a diary. It's totally full. Totally full. I'm going to hand it back to Heaven Neck and be like, I want to look at this with you later, buddy. Hey. And as you guys are, like, kind of, like, holding it and, like, talking about it, like, you watch as this spectral form, like, pops up next to you. And she's just like, Margaret. I try to stab her. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She's like, thank you for helping. I, we can discuss this more in detail. Uh, And just kind of, like, fades back into the book. And... Since it's getting late, uh, we'll kind of like fast forward a little bit. Um, so you guys have your book. We can go into more details as you guys look into it in future sessions. If you want to pursue this, uh, it will be an option for you as you go forward. Um, and you make it the rest of the way to the port. And as it will end with the ship kind of like sun coming up over the horizon with the boat. like, And you can see the port in the distance with like very vaguely with like some ships moving in and out and uh yeah we'll kind of like fade to that as the the party goes so thank you guys for playing i realize i'm still yeah yeah that was awesome. Thanks, Thank you, perfect that was the best i'm so glad you guys figured out the puzzle oh, I, was, shit. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> if you didn't i was like i don't know you really plan it. i tried to make this one easy um that's it man well, the best is you just make it a puzzle for like six year olds, and we we'll, we won't figure. It out. <laughs> exactly. I didn't even think about puzzle. I was like, we're marking shit. <laughs> <laughs> just run it. Kill all the room. Room. This is just experience. <laughs> you know what's funny is if we had just started with six and went down, it would have been it immediate. It would have worked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, the the creatures got harder as you moved through the rooms. Mm. Like the higher the number, the harder. so like. My thought was like, okay, well, you can try and do the easier rooms first, and like, <laughs> like try and do those if you figure it out, or just plow through the. Uh, 
did they increase with the challenge like the challenge rating increase yeah with, that was like, cool man that was a lot of fun like, yeah that was fun the door so. i play i like max Thank yeah you. i love the new characters i love both of you max yeah. is great so thank you guys for playing thank you guys for watching uh do any of our players want to do shout outs or we can uh nah. no no i just want to um, say that i'm really excited to see the snark loop that happens when finn meets zilch so it's just <laughs> uh, it's, it's like well i can be snarkier than you and i can't then, wait to have them talk to each other i'm gonna be like finn finn you gotta meet my buddy zilch <laughs> <laughs> if we ever have like a big battle royale type thing that'll be fun i love it yeah, thank you. yeah no i think we're good uh we're gonna i think we're gonna make another podcast soon we probably should right yeah we've been focusing on this but we will have one up soon uh sheila max any shout outs no i'm good thank you uh-huh. thanks for watching watch listen good shit follow and he's from- comment everything <laughs> follow Nice. Should we all dodge, dip, duck, and dodge? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks all. Have a good night. See ya. Everybody, freeze. Stay safe out. <laughs>